Have you heard of the ancient Keyblade War? Huh? Of course I have. Long ago, Keyblade wielders waged a war over the ownership of light. Yeah, the Master's favorite story. I wonder what they planned on doing with Kingdom Hearts after... making it appear. Who knows? I don't get why anyone would initiate a war. So... you know the Lost Masters? Who? They're the ones who started the Keyblade War. Never heard of them. Where'd you hear about that? Or... They're the ones for whom... The war started. I'm not following you. You can drop the facade. Facade? On that land shall darkness prevail and light expire. A prospective Keyblade Master should know this. If you say so. The gazing eye sees the fate of the world. The future. It's already been written. Really? I'm not so sure about that. Besides, who's to say I can't change it? And maybe light will prevail. <laughs> Pretty confident. But things aren't in your favor. Perhaps. But unlike darkness, there is more light than meets the eye. You might be surprised. Oh, I hope so. In order to defeat Xehanort, there are allies we must gather. Acting now to rouse them from their slumber. We have discussed this before, Sora. Mm. Your mark of mastery exam was conducted in the hopes you would acquire the power to wake them. However, the darkness nearly took control of you, and your grasp of your new abilities leaves much to be desired. Oh. Furthermore, <coughs> Xehanort nearly made you his vessel and in the oh. process stripped you of most of the power you had gained by then. I suspect you have already noticed this, correct? But first, you must regain all the strength you have lost. Perhaps it is foolish to expect a complete recovery, but it is absolutely vital you perfect one power, the power of waking, which you failed to master during your exam. There's someone who lost his strength and found it again. A true hero oh. to whom you ought to pay a visit. Perhaps he can point you in the right direction. Fool! <laughs> Got it! Hmm. You can count on us to take care of Sora! I would have it no other way. I put Sora in your hands. And don't forget, we'll get an eye on you! Oh, this is gonna be lots of fun! It's not a vacation. <laughs> Let's go! Down on us! Oh. How are we supposed to get there now? What? I thought you knew! Looks like all the old highways are closed. Didn't Master Yen Sid say that Sora should trust the guidance his heart gives? Come on, Sora! Which way? Um... Hey! Would you get serious? Give me a break. I'm trying. These things take time. <sighs> well, since we've already been before, why don't you try picturing our friends like we're there? Hmm... Wow! Sorry, I got nothing. What did you expect? 
May your heart be your guiding key. Huh? What's that? Master Yen Sid always said that, right before we went off on any of our real important adventures. Really? Ring a bell? <coughs> Maybe I just imagined it. May my heart be my guiding key. <laughs> Olympus Coliseum, here we come! At long last, the time had come. The planets were edging into perfect alignment. And the plan Hades devised 18 years ago was about to reach fruition. The fates had predicted this very future, the day he would seize control of Olympus and rule over all the cosmos. Hades' previous attempts, using Terra, Cloud, and Orin to advance his plans for conquest, had failed. The hour was not yet right. But now the planets were aligned, and nothing could possibly go wrong. A wave of darkness slants down from their celestial rank, and one by one, Hades freed the Titans from their prison. Some of them, the same monstrosities that Sora and his friends had already fought and bested before. But both the Titans and his longing for vengeance against Zeus reinvigorated, Hades began his attack on Olympus. No fanfare? <sighs> nope. Looks like we missed the Colosseum. Sora, you opened the gate. I was a little off again. Sorry. We'll find him. But we need to go. Yeah, up is the usual direction. Well, never hurts to have your head in the clouds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, we're leaving. I think we might be going in circles. Hmm. Did I make a turn at the wrong rock? Hey, Hercules! Where are you? All right, I know I dotted my I's, crossed my T's, zeroed the hero. So what gives? Who could possibly be trying to give me a migraine by yodeling that Yutz's name? Really? Hades? <sighs> ah, it's just you. Maybe. It's just us? Even for you, that's cold. Don't forget, I can always turn up the heat! Wait, if Hades is here, then where's her? What is everyone's infatuation with that stone? Ah, 
uh, you know, never mind. Never mind. I'm cool. I'm good. Because Wonder Boy will be out of my hair soon enough. So you're up to no good again. Of course he is. You bet. Oh, easy. What is this, Sparta? Kind of on a schedule. Don't have time to toss around the old fire and brimstone. The whole cosmos is basically waiting for me to, you know, conquer it. Poor Hades. He thinks he can actually pull it off this time. Where are my titans? Show me your power! That sent him sailing. <laughs> sailing right to where I left. Ah, no biggie. Nice work, boys. So, back to the whole cosmic coup thing. Uh, really? Are you kidding? Jeez Louise. Seriously. When it rains, it pours. Okay, who's the new pest? Hey now, that ain't no way to say hello, especially to your old friends. Ah, oh, perfect. Now I gotta put up with you too. Funny, I don't remember you doing me any memorable favors. So, you can keep your heartless this time. I'm going back to my original plan, all right? So, toodaloo, <laughs> exits that away. Hey, it was great seeing you. Happy trails! We are not here for you. I have my own business to attend to. All I need to know is if there is a distinctive black box somewhere in this world. Black box, huh? Hmm. Black box, black box, black box. Hmm. Wait. Don't tell me. You're after the one Zeus hit on Earth? Possibly. If I were, where might it be? Phew. See? Found him. Yeah, I guess this counts. <laughs> Let me down! Hmm? <laughs> Just a second. <laughs> you guys are here. Sora, Donald, Goofy. You literally dropped in. Gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks! Like the catch. Yeah. Thanks, Herc. But, what's going on? <sighs> Take a guess. Starts with an H. Ah, I get the picture. Actually, we bumped into the H-ster on the way here. <laughs> he said something about conquering the whole cosmos. All of it, huh? Nice of him to show a little self-restraint. Well, whatever he's planning, I'll send him running back across the sticks. <laughs> That's our Herc. So, Sora, is there a reason you guys are visiting? I'm guessing it's not just for the cheese and olives. Oh, yeah. It sounds like somebody forgot. Black Sora. I just took my time remembering. 
Herc, I came here so I could ask you something. Ask me? Yeah. Do you remember the last time we were together? You were feeling down and out. How'd you get your strength back? When you jumped in and saved Meg? Hmm. Huh. That's tough. All I know is that she was in trouble. Suddenly, I wanted to save her with all my heart, but... It's not like I could tell you how. Oh, man. What's wrong? All my strength is gone from me, too. That's why I need you. Because I was hoping you might have a solution or something. I'm sorry, Sora. Let's talk later. Right. Once we've dealt with these guys. Hercules! <sighs> You're okay. Meg! Boy, that didn't look so fun. No. Not with the Heartless involved. We're just lucky our friend showed up. Well, what do you know? Sora, Donald, Goofy. <laughs> Guess I owe you a big thank you. Meg, you need to stay someplace safe. We'll search the city and make sure everyone manages to get clear of the fire. Be careful, Wonder Boy. I will. So, you guys in? Of course we're in! We are heroes! Mm-hmm. Break a leg, then. Heroes. Mm. Phil? You should go with Meg. You gotta keep her safe. Hey, hmm? I hear a voice. From which way? Over that way. Mm hmm. Help me! <gasps> oh no! There's a little girl caught in the fire. Let's go. Wait, running's too slow. Uh, then what's the other choice? Hmm. Huh. Get on that! It, uh, it's a uh, hope so. Like this? That's good. Now hold on tight! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Maybe we should... Uh, I don't think this is a good idea! <laughs> 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 Yeah, no <laughs> prob. We better check and see if anyone else needs us. Mm -hmm. Well, if it isn't Sora and the King's Pawns. Huh? <laughs> Maleficent! Pete! Are you the reason the Heartless are here? Certainly not. Say, Maleficent, I don't know about his sidekicks, but Kid Keyblader here looks way punier than the last time we saw him. <laughs> I say we finish him off while we still can. Waste no time with the boy, he's inconsequential. We have a far more pressing matter to attend to. Hmm? Oh, we got to find that black box. Be silent, you fool! Mm -hmm. As for you three, we shall meet again, when I have time for such trifles. Yeah, and you'd better get your act together before then. Later, twerps! Wait! Oh. Oh. Huh. 
It's fine. I can take it. Gorge, it sure don't sound like it. Did Pete saying mean things bother you? It's fine. I can take it. You're gonna get stronger. We know you. You can take it. Don't say that. Oh, I just said what he said. I can take it. Ouch! Now what are we gonna do? <sighs> Oh. <laughs> Fellas, I just got a crazy idea. The shield. <laughs> Someone help! Where did all these monsters come from? Hercules, where are you? Uh, black. Oh no. Help is on the way. We'll put these hotheads out. Hang on up there. Huh? Who are you three? Where is Hercules? I really was too. <laughs> Thank you. You're so kind. Keep training, and one day you'll be great <laughs> heroes, oh. just like Hercules. <laughs> Keep training? Is it that obvious? Just for you. Hey, well, I think we all have a ways to go, but we'll get there together. Yeah, we will. Go. Oh, no! Oh. Herc! Sora! Huh? More heartless! <laughs> you take them! We need to save these people! Hurt! Can you hold the building? No problem! Donald! Goofy! We gotta do this quick! Get the people out! Okay! Are you guys alright? You need hurry, to get to safety! Hurry. Go! Quickly! <laughs> It's nothing. That's what these are for. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, wow. Very nice. Oh, Marks. No organization. You're Zigbar. Ah, uh, all this altruism is giving me the warm and fuzzies. So then, does having a heart of light come with an extremely good insurance policy? Just say what you mean. Oh, but I did, though. No good will ever come from putting other people first. I was able to save Meg's life because I was ready to risk my own. Because you've got friends in high places, you mean. Tricks like that don't fly for your average Joe. What do you know? You weren't even there. If you were, you'd admire Herc's courage. 
I don't admire one guy leaping into danger if it means someone else might have to jump in to save him. You're all just lining up to lose out. Dooming others to take the fall with you. Oh. And you can spare me the usual party line. Yes, hearts are powerful when they're connected. But if you put too much of that power in one place, some of those hearts might end up breaking. Still, Sora, that doesn't mean you should change. Accept the power you're given. Find the hearts joined to yours. Why would I ever take advice from you? As if. You don't have any choice but to follow this sweet little trail of breadcrumbs. And at the end, you'll finally realize what destiny has in store for you. In fact, your reward might be right around the corner. You're so close! <laughs> Hearts breaking? Whose hearts? Sora, don't let him bother you. He's just trying to get under your skin because he thinks he can. But we'll prove him wrong. We'll show him that our sacrifices haven't been for nothing. You're right. Mm-hmm. Besides, we're already proof enough. We're a team. When we're together, we can do anything. Yeah. What reward? Nice job, Wonder Boy. We checked the whole area. It looks like everyone's safe. That's great. We did what we could. You heroes have been busy little bees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, look. More trouble. It's Hades. <laughs> <laughs> Herc! Let's go! Right. <laughs> this sure does feel awfully familiar. Yeah, just like before. Guys, this is getting worse by the minute. I hope I'm wrong, but my family may need me. Sora, I'm gonna fly ahead. You've been a big help, but leave the rest to me. Family? Yeah. Dad's king of the gods. Yeah. What? what? His father is a god, but doesn't that mean Herc is a god too? Oh, I think it does. No wonder he's so strong. Then he'll be okay. Won't he? No. Organization 13's here. He'll need our help. Good point. We gotta go. The heroes never quit. Huh. That's tough. All I know is that she was in trouble. Suddenly, I wanted to save her with all my heart. We fight with all our heart. Come on! Mm -hmm. One down. They're not yeah. so tough by themselves. Mm. That one was damn as a rock. A 
Okay, what's next? Is this... Olympus? Gosh, it's amazing! Oh, whoa! Down, down, down. Nope! I swear to you, Hades! When I get out of this... No, <sighs> I'm the one giving orders now, old boy. Don't get too comfortable, Hades! Huh? Huh? We're gonna stop you! What? It's all four of them! So what? There are four of us, too! Actually, I think I can make it five. No! <laughs> Thank you, my boy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, watch your old man work! years into that plan and you ruined it! I really don't like you. Just give it up already. You'll never beat her, no matter how many times you try. Yeah, stay in the underworld where you belong. Now I'm the time of your afterlife. Enough already! I did not come this far to be ridiculed by Zeusy High and Mighty, his little sunspot, and a trio of clowns! You know what? I'll just go ahead and destroy you! Hades! <sighs> the exit is that way. <sighs> Hold on. I almost forgot. <sighs> That one's for trying to wreck Thebes. You'll pay for this! I have a very, very long memory. I can <laughs> still dunk your little nutmeg in a river of death! Are you sure you want to leave all this behind? Isn't Olympus your home? I'm your family! I can see my family anytime I want. If I stayed, I'd have to be apart from the person I love most. And that life would be empty. <gasps> I 
finally know where I belong. Hercules! Sora, we never got back to your question. Can I help? Mm, it's okay. I think I'm meant to figure it out for myself. I'll find my strength the way you found yours. Something to fight for. With all my heart. Hmm. I guess you did have the answer. Well, you've got heart, Sora. Just keep at it and I know you'll be stronger than ever. Yeah, I might even end up stronger than you are. There we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you. Are you sure this box with the book of prophecies is for reals? Yeah, I think that dig batted black was pulling your leg. Be quiet and dig, you imbecile. <laughs> I must find that book of prophecies and make it my own. His was the only clue we have. We cannot afford to dismiss it without a thorough investigation. I'm just saying a shot in the dark ain't gonna get us any closer to... Whoa! What is it? Have you found something? Show it to me at once, fool! Yes, sir, easy. This has got to be that Pandora's box Hades mentioned. Leave it. What? After all that digging? That is not the box which I desire. We are finished with this world. Come. No. May your heart... What's wrong, Riku? Are you tired? Do you need a break? We can stop. No, just... I've been here. I should know this place. But that all seems like another life. Well, gee, uh, think of all you've seen. All the feelings you've felt. Why, you've done years of growing in almost no time at all. I remember my first time here. I was so scared. <sighs> but now my doubts and fears are gone. If anything, I feel exhilarated. And it's not because there's darkness in me. I know too well what that rush is like. This is different. And it's not adrenaline either. I know Aqua needs us, but I'm ready. I'm in control now. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're with me this time. Mm -mm. It's not me. I think it's because you finally found inside you that special strength to protect what matters. What? Sometimes you care so much for somebody that other feelings disappear. And then there's no room for fear or doubt. Is that it? Strength to protect what matters. It reminds me of a promise I made. To who? Just someone I once met. Can't tell. Sounds like a good memory. Yeah. While we're reminiscing, Mickey, does any of this look familiar? Uh, sort of. But the realm of darkness has changed since I was here with Aqua. Yeah, it's different from what I remember. 
Usually, I'd just follow my heart, and Aqua would show me the way. But the closer I get, the hazier our connection feels. You mean... Maybe, but we can't give up hope. Yeah. This beach. It's gone. Huh? I'm positive Aqua was here. But now, her trail's gone dim. I've been here too. With Sora. Really? This is where we found our way back to the Realm of Light. Hey, maybe Aqua did too. Aqua has fallen into an even darker abyss. Somewhere I can't see her. And I don't think we're equipped to dive any deeper than we already are. So then... Huh. Oh no! What? Riku, be careful. Even the least threatening Heartless are stronger in this realm. I got it. Be careful! <gasps> oh no! Ew! Let go! What? Because somebody needs me. Who are you? Uh. Riku? Wake up! Riku! <gasps> are you okay? Oh. Where'd the Heartless go? I got more than half of them, and the rest vanished. But uh, they spit you out first. Oh, thanks. I owe you. I know you feel invincible, but we're not. Are you all right, Mickey? Yeah, thanks to the new gear. But your Keyblade... Oh. <laughs> hmm. The Heartless here are stronger than what we expected. I guess we probably should have powered up our Keyblades before we came in here, huh? I think we need to go back to Master Yen's Hit's tower so we can regroup. But Aqua's... still down here alone. Facing enemies like that. I know. What if she's feeling as scared and alone as I felt the first time I came here? How long are we supposed to keep her waiting in this awful place? But Aqua, she's like Sora. What? No, 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 no. Strong like Sora. Oh. Okay. Good. Then I guess she's gonna be all right. Sora could fall into any darkness and swim his way out. Besides, we won't be long. Right.
Huh? Can't use this keyblade anymore. Might as well leave it here. For the other me. What? I see. You could not regain your strength. Ah, uh, no biggie. I still learned a lot. Regardless, Sora, you will need the power of waking. Oh. Uh, uh... It can't be gone forever. Maybe something will trigger it real soon. Like what exactly? Hello. How about a bite on the head? Hey. Perhaps it could be something that is as simple as that. Wait, you think so too? Whenever you are in need, magic happens. That is your greatest strength, Sora. You make it sound like an accident. <laughs> Whoa! Huh? We're back, Master! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh. Hey, wow! You guys are all here! We were here before, but you didn't wait! Hey there, fellas! So, what have you three been up to? We were visiting... Oh. We went to Olympus to visit Hercules! And to figure out how to get all of Sora's lost powers back! But, it was a big disappointment! Oh, what a shame. But, honestly... We didn't fare any better. Did you manage to figure out where Aqua is? Cause Master Yen Sid said that's why you fellas left. Over the hunt? Come on! Can I finally say something? We know Master Aqua made it as far as the beach that Sora and I once visited. But that's where her trail ends. Meaning? All traces of her vanish into the Great Abyss. Beneath the Realm of Darkness. She's dead? No. Sora was dragged into the Abyss during his exam. And I went in after him. So I think if we find someone who is really close to Aqua, and they make the dive, they could reach her down there. I'm not sure who's even left to ask. Ventus is hidden, and Aqua's the only one who knows where. Plus, nobody's seen Terra in ages. Aqua was the last. So Aqua... She's gonna be the key to finding all three. Yes, their teacher, Master Ericus, would have been another possibility. Had Xehanort not mercilessly struck him down. I'll save her. Huh? Huh? Don't! But Sora, that's gonna be super hard since you don't have the power of waking. Huh? Sorry. I have no idea why that just popped out. Well, it was pretty convincing. Yeah. Better not let us down. Hmm. Sora, you must focus on regaining your lost power of waking. Miki and Riku, I recall that Master Aqua journeyed to many worlds and connected with others who could be the link we need. Good plan, sir. Riku and I will retrace her steps and see if we can find any sort of clues. But first, 
Hmm? We got hit pretty hard in the Realm of Darkness. My Keyblade was damaged, and the Heartless broke Riku's clean in half. So we're gonna need to get replacements before we can continue. In that case, rendezvous with Kairi and Lee. They are continuing their training under the tutelage of the wizard Merlin. Yes, sir. Also, I would like you to deliver these for me. Are they? Yes, they are the same as the ones I gave you. Special vestments to shield Kyrie and Lee from the darkness. We got them! What? No fair! What about my outfit, Master? Sora, don't bug him like that! I can consider it! Settle down. I have new clothes for you too, Sora. Yeah? A gift from <laughs> the good fairies. Huh? I knew you'd come through for me! Thanks! Those are no ordinary garments, Sora. Like before, they have very special powers, so it took extra time to prepare them. In addition, there is a <laughs> gift from Chip and Dale inside. Cool, okay! <laughs> Happy now? Yep. Now you are all ready to proceed. Hey, wait! Don't forget about me! Every journey worth going on needs a cricket to keep track of it. And I can't let you start this one without old Jiminy Cricket by your side. The whole team's back. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Now to mark the beginning of a new journey. I wish for you to have this, Sora. Huh? Okay. That is a heart binder. Think of it as a good luck charm made just for you. You have a gift, Sora, for connecting with others. And this makes that gift stronger. It's time to go! May your heart be your guiding key. See? Mm. Hmm. Okay, we'll go. Um. Oh, come on, when you get serious. Give me a break, okay? I told you, these things take time. Gorge, is it just me? Or is this turning into a routine? Huh? Huh? Uh... What? It's coming from you, Sora! Huh? Oh, uh, What's this? Not me! Magic Scrap! But I don't know how. Maybe this. Hooray! He picked up! Huh? Dale? Hey, Chipper! I finally got him! Hurry up, Chip! Wow! It's about time! Chip? You gotta answer the phone, Sora, or we can't give you updates. We got lots and lots of important stuff we want to tell you. That's why we asked Master Yen Sid to make sure you got this gummy phone we made you. So we'd be able to stay in touch with you at all times. And it takes pictures. Oh, you finally finished it. Say, with this gummy phone, we can talk to each other across worlds. In fact, I might even try writing my journal on it. Wow! Sounds like it's pretty handy, guys. So, what's so important? This! Back when you and Riku quested through the sleeping worlds, Riku recovered some secret research data that Ansem the Wise hid inside you! Ansem's code! Mm-hmm. We've been working our tails off trying to crack it and see what it says. The data has been encrypted, so we've only deciphered some of it. Huh? Oh, I guess we haven't spoken since the castle. I'm Ienzo. Alias is here too. Alias, whatever's between you and Roxas, it's in the past. 
Sora, the reason we're here is because you and your friends defeated our nobodies, thereby recompleting us. We cast off our hearts by choice, make no mistake, but we didn't know that Xemnas, or rather, Xehanort, was deceiving us. Huh? Xemnas? Oh, he's with them! Not anymore. Xemnas and Xehanort have no hold over us now. We're just students of the heart. Exactly the same as we were before all of this began. Yeah, right. Hmm. But you know, now that I think about it, Axel's on our side now. Uh. We have friends we want to bring back to this world just the same as you. To do that, we have to work together. In that spirit, Sora, we found some intriguing data in the bit of code we deciphered. Is it about me? Yes. In order to piece your memories back together, our teacher Ansem the Wise took a close look at your heart. And what he found is that your heart doesn't belong just to you. It doesn't? Gorge, you don't seem surprised. Yeah. Honestly, I suspected as much. There's another heart inside mine. I think it's Roxas's. Just like Naminé is still inside Kyrie's. Interesting. Well, no one knows your heart better than you. To be honest, we still have a plethora of questions on our side. But the idea has merit. It's incredible enough that you and your nobody are able to coexist. If you share a heart, no wonder someone as remarkable as you caught Ansem the Wise's eye. We'll keep investigating based on your hypothesis. I'll be in touch. Okie dokie! We'll give you fellows a ring if there's anything else! Remember, me and Chip, the guys at Radiant Garden, and King Mickey and everybody are never far away! And Jiminy, would you do us a favor? Teach Sora how to use the dummy phone? Leave it to me! I have to find Roxas and save him. The others are following Aqua's heart. So I'll follow Roxas's heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust the guidance that your heart gives you, Sora. That's what Master Yen Sid said. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Gorge, we forgot to fill Master Yen Sid in on what happened. Should we go back? Hmm. You mean about Maleficent and Zigbar? No, the others have already got enough on their plates as it is. Why go stressing them out? The three of us know how to handle a couple of old adversaries, right? Yeah, I guess. But doesn't that thing Pete said bother you? The black box? Come on, we're talking about Pete. That means it's probably no big deal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, cool! The trams are still here! So, uh, it hasn't been that long. Feels like it. Maybe you're feeling what Roxas feels because he misses home. Mm-hmm. Actually, I ran into Roxas in the Sleeping Worlds. It was like seeing into his heart for the first time. And he was in the data scan, too. Uh-huh. It was a test to see if your data version was ready to face the hurt 
that you carry inside. Was I ready? I do know Hurt. When I lost Riku and Kairi, and later when I lost the Keyblade, and you guys had to go on without me like that? Having no one to turn to was the worst kind of hurt, but that just shows how much you mean to me. Carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. Hurting is part of caring. Of course, any Sora is still Sora. So wait, if Roxas feels something, then we're in the right place. Roxas, I'm gonna find you. Huh? What is that? Nobody's! <gasps> Hmm... What was that voice? I know I heard it. I didn't hear it. You sure it wasn't the wind? Or something else? I'm pretty sure. Where'd they come from? Huh? Get the ice cream later! Huh? <laughs> what? Hold up! See? Voices! New ones? <laughs> what? Painter? Pence? Olette? <laughs> what? what is that? <laughs> hey! Sora! Hello, goodbye! Uh, oh. Go! We got this! Nice fighting. Thanks, Sora. Hainer, Pence, Olette, it's been ages. What? It hasn't been that long. Yes, hey. Donald, Goofy, how are ya? We're good. Howdy there, Olette. So does this mean that weird stuff's going down again? You kidding, uh. Pence? When have we ever seen a tornado of shadowy blobs before? It's not weird. This is under-precedented! Hmm, I guess it is. The creatures from the last time were bright white. These things must be new. Man, I can't wait to get to sleuthing. We are already done with the school project, silly. Whatever's going on, you wouldn't be here unless you had a good reason. Which is? Well, actually, we're looking for Roxas. Roxas? That's funny. I don't know any Roxas, mm. but the name sounds familiar. Maybe we bumped into him somewhere. Uh, that's one way to put it. Actually, he might have been friends with another version of you. Hmm? This photograph. Yeah, we've got the same one. Oh yeah, the other Twilight Town. It's like one of those spot the differences puzzles, except really easy. I guess in that town, we're friends with this Roxas person. Sora, let us help you track Roxas down. <laughs> really? Sure, he seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Great, then let's all go ask around town. If alternate us knew Roxas, then maybe alternate other folks did too. Mm -hmm. Sora, you three should go to the place in the photo. It's the old mansion. The three of us will cover places in town. Thanks. Oh yeah, I got this phone thingy that takes pictures. <laughs> Wanna snap a photo while we're all here? Sure, that's a great idea. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
ったうんウェイ、ふすてきねおうん。Hey, tough luck. You drew the short straw. It's okay. I'm sitting out of the photo with you, Donald. Can you take the photograph? <laughs> Everybody smile. <laughs> wow, that came out great. Oh, a lucky emblem. Lucky emblem? Oh, yeah, they are huge right now. Supposedly, these things are hidden all over town. And if you get a picture of them, they'll bring you good luck. Cool! <laughs> Wait, look, guys, is that. <laughs> You're right! I see it too! <laughs> I knew it! Good luck, because they're not all this easy to find. Okay, we better start asking around. You start by checking out the old mansion. We'll catch up. Got it. Huh? Hmm? What's that? Oh. Heartless! What do you think they're up to? Uh? Hmm. Look! On that branch! The Heartless have him surrounded! Oh no! What's up? Yeah! Well, take care. Whoa, what what is whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Lucky, that little feller's parked on your head. Huh? Would you cut that up? Oh! Huh? Sarah, you've been hijacked! You know, maybe he wants you to pick up the fruit for him. Mm, okay, that's fine, but I can do it by myself. I just need to collect the fruit? Right then. So, what are you gonna do with all this anyway? Huh? Hmm? Uh -huh. Oh. Well, okay. You be careful going home. Bye -bye. See you around! What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. 
Uh. Hey there. Uh. Ah! 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 Thanks for the heart attack. Oh, what? Did I scare you? Uh, oh. Our bad. So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope. Afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last hope. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. Here we go! Eh, the password was, uh, sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh. Oh man, the transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Well, huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any slug. Uh, oh, and what, you do? <laughs> I know, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> then, uh... Who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so... I can't uh... run it. Which program? Uh... The transporter to the other Twilight Town! Uh... It's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... Okay, sharing is enabled. <gasps> huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas' full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh, basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. 
He was re-completed like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pants. <laughs> hey! <sighs> so, you think you can bring Roxas back? Oh. Handsome! Oh. Samness! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? Handsome and Zemnis used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Uh. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah! Yeah, you tell him, Captain Goofy! <laughs> In that case, by all means. Nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again! Still so blind, a nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. <gasps> Set your heart free. Wait! Sarah! Uh, uh, it's not darkness. Not if it helps him. No. Herc said, he said, with all my heart. Okay, then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me? Donald? Goofy? Huh? You betcha! I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay then, let's head back to town. Hmm. <laughs>
Well, bless oh. my bagpipes. It was you laddies who rescued mm -hmm. my chef. I can't go strange. Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm. What is it? Wow! wow cake! Hmm? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town. Aye. It all started a little while ago, when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun, kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. Hey, guys! Huh? Oh. Painter, Olette. Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey, good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You did on this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry and eager to spend their money. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. It's our job! But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. 
Mm-hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case... We'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. Ha! My bistro's future is looking bright. The new recipes are a smash. Those ingredients of yours must really have got little chef's gears a-turning. Soon we'll be chasing customers away. Keep up the good work. <laughs> we try. Right, little chef? <laughs> I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yensa tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before. And some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy. But I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah, but it's okay. I just like talking to Sora, even if it's on paper. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know... We did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? 
Well, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Oh. 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 Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh. <laughs> Something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own, hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization, the real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay, but Master Xehanort is an old man again now. 
Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's cause Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yep, and Merlin too. Yeah. Why can't I go outside? The outside world is a dangerous place. You must stay here where you're safe. Do you understand, Flower? Those lights appear every year on my birthday, only on my birthday, and I can't help but feel like they're, they're meant for me. I need to see them, and not just from my window, in person. I have to know what they are. It sure is a pretty day. <clears throat> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. Why do you think we came here? Got me, Donald. We'll figure it out as we go. <sighs> okay. I'm sure we were brought to this world for some good reason. But can't we sweat it later? Fine with me. I swear that there's no harvest. mention them, they show up. There goes our picnic. I, I didn't do it. It's okay. Let's send these guys packing. Say, since you three seem to know what you're doing, mind if I leave this one to you? Yep. We'll take care of them. Go on, skedaddle. You have my thanks. Whew. The horse was enough. Don't need any monsters on my trail. Now what was enough? Oh, nothing, nothing. Name's Flynn, Flynn Rider. Oh, watch out, they look mad. Slowly, slowly. Out of here. <laughs> huh? Where'd Flynn go? He's the dead one. I think I saw him go that away. Huh? But that away is just a dead end. Yeah, that's puzzling. Well, did he? Hmm. I say we investigate. I couldn't have come this way. Hmm? Well, at least he got away safe, right? 
Huh? Hey! Now Sora's gone too! This way, guys! It's a secret passage! Oh. How you doing? The name's Flynn Ryder. How's your day going? Huh? Who else knows my location, Flynn Ryder? All right, hang on, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Here's the deal. I was in a situation gallivanting through the forest when I stumbled upon it. Oh. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. So, what do you want with my hair? To cut it? Huh? Sell it? No! Wait, you don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Look, I was being chased, I saw a tower, I climbed it, okay? End of story. Hmm? Huh? Okay, Lynn Ryder. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. A deal? Look this way. Don't... Do you know what these are? You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? Lanterns? I knew they weren't stars. Well, tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky with these lanterns. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. Yeah, no can do. Unfortunately, the kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. I am serious. Oh. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home. Then you give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. Oh, what to do? I cannot let her find that tiara. Okay, just think. I need the satchel, and Blondie has it. There might be more monsters out there. I've got it! The three guys in the funny outfits! They look tough enough to come in handy. All right, fine. I'll take you. But on ah. one condition. My three sidekicks come along. Look at that. Power. <sighs> Let's check it out. Huh?
It's so soft. I'm free. I'm really free. Oh. Flynn, good to see you in one piece. Huh? Guys, you're here and just in time. <laughs> hmm? Oh, who's she? Uh, that would be Rapunzel. Something tells me this could be her first time outdoors. Give her a few minutes to get used to it. First time ever? I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! Mother would be so furious if she knew I disobeyed her and left the tower. But that's okay, I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her. Right? No. Oh my gosh, this would kill her. This is so fun! I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! I am a despicable human being. Best day ever! <laughs> I notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. A little more than a little. More that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Stop right there. Who are you? Oh. I told you before, my sidekicks. Sidekicks? May I introduce... Uh... Oh, my name's Sora. Hey, but I'm Goofy. Pleasure, ma'am. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm Rapunzel. Yep, my sidekicks. Hey. Since when is that? Look, she really wants to see the Lantern Show tomorrow night. Now, I'm a nice guy, so I've decided to help her. Only problem is those monsters might show up again. I can get her to the kingdom, but you guys are clearly more cut out for combat. That's because huh? we're heroes! Uh-huh. And uh -huh. we're heartless experts. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Just leave it to us. Done. Rapunzel is interested. Yeah, her heart's pulling her all kinds of ways. Huh? The outside world must seem so big and scary. I know how she feels. Lucky for me, you two came along at just the right time. And the rest has been unforgettable. Uh. <laughs> uh, yep. Unforgettable. Just like your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mal. All for one and one for all. Say it, but I'm letting you out of this deal. What? It's way too scary out here. Let's just turn around and take you home. No, I am seeing those lanterns. <clears throat> oh, come on! <clears throat> Rapunzel? It's okay. I'm not afraid to face them.
Rapunzel? Rapunzel! Missing someone? Who's there? She's such a precious gift. Allow me to assist you in getting her back. Just like the floating lights. Huh? Okay, that's suspicious. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Rapunzel? Don't worry. I know to be careful around flowers now. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not normal. I'll take a look. Watch that. Uh, no. Hmm. Huh. We're all clear. <sighs> oh. <sighs> These guys. Bodies. Mother said the outside world would be full of ruffians and thugs. Don't you want thugs? Don't you? Uh, I don't know. Rapunzel, Flynn, stay back. No, I want to help you fight. I know, but I'm afraid you can't hurt these guys with a frying pan. Trust me on this. Flynn, could you explain? No problem. Knowing when to flee is one of my specialties. Come on, Rapunzel. Gotta go. But... Look, I want to stay and slug it out too, but my sidekicks have it covered! All right. Please be careful, Sora. <laughs> you know who uses nobodies? Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen them. I know you're there. Come out, you has-beens. Oh. Has-beens? Now why would you say that? Because bossing around nobodies? That's the old organization. Why? Are you in the real one, too? Good for you. My name is Marluxia. And yes, that is correct. How interesting it is to see you again, Sora. Again? You know him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A shame you've no memory of me, because I remember you exceedingly well. Although, it's those memories I'd soon erase. I don't know what you're saying! Nor should you. Nor will you ever, for that matter. Now, if you'll permit me, I've come to ask a favor. Favor? You have got to be kidding me! Please hear what I have to say. I'm sure you've noticed. Well, perhaps not. But you should know that maiden with you, Rapunzel, is the very light of this world. I would see you guard her from its dark horrors. Huh? <laughs> Starting with you, right? All the organization seeks is balance. You must understand 
Our ultimate objective is not to clash with the light. We seek to complement it. Use that Keyblade to keep Rapunzel safe. Rapunzel's light? Oh, hey, where did they go? I guess they must have run on ahead. Then we'd better go find them. Ah, <sighs> I wonder where they went. Don't worry, they couldn't have gotten too far. You just had to stop and talk. Hey, blame the has-been, not me. Oh, I think you mean Marluxia. <laughs> I bet that's the name the has-been would prefer. <sighs> Hello? Rapunzel? Flynn? Excuse me, good travelers. Do you know Rapunzel? Uh... Uh, yeah, sort of. Why? My apologies. I'm Rapunzel's mother. The poor child left home without a word, and I've just been worried sick. Please tell me, where is my dear, sweet girl? We'd tell you, but we lost her. By accident. We could look together. Lost her? <sighs> You're of no use to me. I'll find her myself. She ran away from home? What if Marluxia was onto something back there? You trust her to the station, What? No, of course not. But what if? I agree. Why is Rapunzel in danger? And what darkness is after her? Well, guys. The first step is to find her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, boy, easy. Settle down. Whoa, whoa. That voice. It's Rapunzel. You are such a good boy! Yes, you are. <laughs> are you all tired from chasing this bad man all over the place? Excuse me? Nobody appreciates you, do they? Do they? Oh, come on! He's a bad horse! Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. Isn't that right? Maximus? What? You've got to be kidding me. Look, today is kind of the biggest day of my life. And the thing is, I need you not to get him arrested. Just for 24 hours, and then you can chase each other to your heart's content. Okay? Mm. And it's also my birthday, just so you know. Rapunzel! You're uh. here, and you're okay. <clears throat> yeah, you too. And look, I meet a friend. Meet Maximus. You could say Flynn introduced us, and where one goes, the other follows. No. This is Sora, Goofy, and Donald. <clears throat> They've been helping me. Uh, come on. The kingdom's not far. I just knew the outside world would be full of amazing things. And you, you helped me find them. Thank you.
<laughs> Rapunzel sure looks happy. She does. Well, her dream's gonna come true. They're sending the lanterns up after dark. Cool. We don't want to miss that. For the last princess. out a window for 18 years dreaming about what it might feel like when those lights rise in the sky what if it's not everything I dreamed it would be it will be and what if it is what do I do then well that's the good part I guess you get to go find a new dream something for you too I should have given it to you before but I was just scared and the thing is I'm not scared anymore you know what I mean I'm starting to <laughs> I'm sorry. Everything is fine. There's just something I have to take care of. Okay. I'll be right back. It's all right, Pascal. Wow! 
Wow! <laughs> Could you guys have possibly picked a worse time? I don't think they appreciate the moment, Sora. What? It's time for these wet blankets to go. Eugene? Eugene! Oh dear, <laughs> he's run off with the crown and forgotten you. No, he wouldn't. Who are you? <laughs> Forget Flynn Rider. You know where you belong, and it's not with him. Now. So worried about you, dear. So I followed you, and I saw them attack you, and oh my. Let's go. Let's go before they come too. Isn't that Rapunzel? Wait! Rapunzel! Oh. Show some decorum. You again! Marluxia! The girl has found her dear mother. You should let them be. And why is that? Because Rapunzel is far too important. Atop her tower, she must remain out of sight and live out her days with Mother Gothel. And never see anyone else? But that's like locking her in some prison. That is exactly what it's like. Rapunzel's hair holds the powerful magic of healing. And yes, Mother Gothel wants it for herself, as do others. And if Mother Gothel's actions will protect Rapunzel, preserve her, then she is doing the organization a favor. What favor? Let's say she's keeping Rapunzel on the shelf for us. An extra pawn in case you fail to find the remaining Guardians of Light. And we have occasion to call on other Hearts of Light instead. A new seven hearts to fill out the ranks. New seven hearts? Yes. Seven who inherited the princess's light after their role was fulfilled. So you don't care about her? You guys just want Rapunzel for your own purposes. Well, you're done here. Hmm. I just knew you would go and make a scene. Very well. Then it's lights out for you. You always 
were such a sound sleeper. Speak up, Rapunzel. You know how I hate the mumbling. I am the lost princess, aren't I? Did I mumble, Mother? Or should I even call you that? Oh, Rapunzel. Do you even hear yourself? Why would you ask such a ridiculous question? <laughs> uh, it was you! It was all you! Everything I did was to protect you. Uh, Rapunzel! I've spent my entire life hiding from people who would use me for my power. Rapunzel! When I should have been hiding from you! Where will you go? He won't be there for you. What did you do to him? That criminal's to be hanged for his crimes. No. No, no, it's all right. Listen to me. All of this is as it should be. No! no! You were wrong about the world. And you were wrong about me. And I will never let you use my hair again! You want me to be the bad guy? Fine. Now I'm the bad guy. Is Sora okay? We don't know. We keep calling his name and shaking him, but he won't open his eyes. Sora? Wake up! Hmm. Unresponsive sidekick. Wait a minute. I know how to fix this. Max, give him a wash. <laughs> That did the trick. Nice work, Max. Huh? How did I end up? Oh no! Flynn! Rapunzel's being held prisoner! That's right. In her mother's tower. This calls for a rescue. Are you with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Let's go, Max. From here, Flynn. Go help Rapunzel. Thanks. Uh, Rapunzel, I thought I'd never see you again. Huh? Save him. I will go with you. Uh, no! No, Rapunzel! Uh, I'll uh, never run. I'll never try to escape. Just let me heal him, and you and I will be together. Forever! Just like you want. Everything will be the way it was. I promise. Just like you want. Just... Let me heal him. In case you get any ideas about following us. You! Eugene! Oh, I'm so sorry. Everything is gonna be okay, though. No, Rapunzel. I promise. You have to trust me. No! I can't let you do this. And I can't let you die. But if you do this... But if you do this, then you will die. Hey, it's gonna be alright. Rapunzel... Wait... Fallen to darkness. We can't allow her near our pure light now. Her presence would only cast a pall over it.
gleam and glow. Let your power shine. Make the clock reverse. Rapunzel! Bring back what once hey. was mine. Rapunzel. What? Uh, Rapunzel. You were my new dream. And you were mine. Did I ever tell you, I've got a thing for brunettes? Oh, Eugene! Rapunzel, you're finally gonna get to see your real home! I know! I mean, I can't believe it! I can finally be with my real family! I couldn't have done it without your help. You're welcome! <laughs> well, from where I'm standing, the kingdom couldn't ask for a better princess. And I couldn't have asked for better sidekicks! Thanks. Yes, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Now, Flynn, you and Maximus play nice. Huh? Okay. <laughs> You're gonna be great. Huh? We haven't seen the guy controlling the monsters in a while, so that's one less worry. But there's still a chance that he might be around here somewhere. Well, if he comes back and tries to bother Rapunzel again, then Flynn will keep her safe. And we three won't be far behind. Come on! Rapunzel's the tough one, if you ask me. True. But nevertheless, I won't let her out of my sight. Oh, Eugene. Eugene? Oh, haha. <laughs> That's my real name. Eugene Fitzherbert. That's right. I never told you guys. That's different. Oh, I think it's a great name. Me too. Nice to re-meet you, Eugene. Hey, I thought I was the only one you were going to tell. Don't worry. I've saved plenty of Fitzherberty secrets just for you. Really? Hey, what are you two lovebirds talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you can tell us. Yeah, it's not nice to keep secrets. This one is none of your business. <laughs> Maximus, get him! Huh? 
You have got to be kidding me! <laughs> Another world where we got doodly squat. Hmm. You sure this box think he's even real? Yes. Yeah, just how do you know that? It is etched. It's what? Come with me. Where to? Those bozos ain't gonna help us. Soros sure not looking for the box. Who said anything about following them? You had to remind me? Well, of course. We just want to help keep you motivated. I was thinking about Roxas. He's trapped here in my heart. But he needs a body to be himself again. Well, don't worry. Yenzo's working on a way to get him free. I'll bet you he's got the perfect body all lined up. Yeah. You've got the gummy phone, Sora. Why don't you try giving him a call? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, why not? Oh, hiya, Sora. Your Majesty! <laughs> oh. uh, hey, uh, hey, what? Wrong number? No, Rico and I are visiting Radiant Garden. Actually, we were just about to call you guys, but it looks like you beat us to the punch. Sora, is something wrong? I wanted to pick your brain. In order for us to recomplete Roxas, he needs a body, right? Yeah, to put his heart in. Hmm. Oh, replicas. Huh? Well, replicas are basically human. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't remember. The previous Organization 13 developed replicas, realistic vessels to place hearts in. They're so real, in fact, that you'd actually mistake them for people. And with hearts, the replicas will become people. Cool. But if we get our hands on a replica, will Roxas look like himself when he's recompleted? Yup. The replica takes the form of the heart inside it. That's perfect! I'll talk to Ienzo. He was in the organization back then, so he might know more. Great. Thanks. Wait. Do you guys think they're after replicas too? Nope, they definitely said a black box. Who's that? The organization and Maleficent. Oh, oh. Uh, mm. I guess we forgot to mention it. Huh, it's okay. But there's something you guys should know about one of their members. Huh? So let the rest of us worry about Roxas and Naminé for now. You journey on and keep an eye out for Terra. <sighs> oh, yes, your majesty. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> they don't change, do they? <laughs> nope, that's their best quality. Well, 
We gave Merlin the vestments for Kyrie and Axel. Let's go stop by Ansem the Wise's study. Right. was watching that! Uh, sorry. But this is no time for television, Rex. Gotta say, that Giga's pretty impressive. Really? I like his aura most. <laughs> Woody, what gives? Shh. Are they back? Shh. All right, guys. Today we teach those mask intruders who's boss. Is everybody in position? Wait, hold on. I don't think I'm emotionally prepared. Would you calm down? Don't worry. I got you covered. It's go time. What in the world? Where are we? Hmm? Oh my gosh! Have we been shrunk? And... and look at us! Who do we command for this for? We have to protect the world order! Border? I said order! Gorge! Hm? Who's going to protect the order from them? Headless! Okay, we go on three. One, two... Wait! What are you doing? Who are those guys? Are they new? Huh? Huh? Wait! Oh, oh! You look familiar! I know this. What? You're, uh, uh, you're, uh. You're Zora. Huh? My name's Sora. Oh. <laughs> Stay back. For all we know, the intruder yeah, said Zora! Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Slow down there, Rex. We don't know them. But we can trust them. They're the number one selling heroes in the country. Yeah. And his mom mm. must have <laughs> bought him for him. Ham's right. Did you see how easily they took care of the intruders? I bet they're here to figure out why all our friends have gone missing, and why Buzz's laser started actually lasering, and had all the weird stuff that's been going on. I mean, that's what heroes do, right? Let's not jump to conclusions. Hmm. Gotta be smart, Woody. So you're Andy's new toys? Toys? <laughs> You sure did a number on those intruders. Those are the heartless. The bad 
guys. We've been fighting against those intruders for a while. I knew it! <laughs> hmm. Okay. Huh? In that case, you're all right by me. My name's Woody. Put her there. Hey. Now, hold on. I'm Sora. You Sora! <laughs> Actually, my name's Sora. Well, oh, I'm Goofy. And I'm Buzz Lightyear. Call me him. It's a real honor. And I'm Rex. I'm your biggest fan. In fact, I've been playing your game for months now. And I've already gotten you all the way up to level 47. But that Bahamut boss is really tough. Slinky and I can't figure out how to beat him. Oh, I wish Slinky and the others were here. They'd be so happy to meet you. All troops, at mm -hmm. attention, sir. Huh. Mm -hmm. Whee! Whee! Strangers, from the outside, uh -huh. welcome. They're all toys? So that's why we look the way we do. Huh? Excuse me. You said that you've battled those intruders before. Tell us where and why. Oh, well, uh, we are... Uh -huh. No. Well, you must have come from somewhere. Hmm. Take it easy, Buzz. What matters is that they got those intruders out of our way for at least a little while. No need to interrogate them. Yeah, Buzz. Woody's right. Noted. But still. Hey, mm -hmm. have those intruders, the Heartless, been a problem around here? No. They just showed up a little while ago. In fact, those Heartless materialized right after all of our friends up and vanished. You don't think. Well, gee, it can't just be a coincidence. Mm. It wasn't always this lonely. One day we woke up and we were the only toys left here. Nobody's heard from Mom, Molly, or Andy. We keep waiting for Andy to come home. You really care about him. <laughs> yeah. He's the best friend that toys like us could ever hope to have. All right. We better start looking. Huh? Have you got any clues we can go on? Any other strange things that happened? Well... Hmm. Hmm. There's one thing. One big thing? Huge, sir! What thing? After everyone went MIA, the intruders didn't come alone. They arrived with a guy wearing a hood dressed in black just like you. As a matter of fact, he's the only other toy we've seen outside of you three. A black hood? But that would mean... The organization! You know who it is? <laughs> yeah. They're bad news. Seems like you have a lot of enemies. We may have a hunch what's causing all the weirdness. Would you mind if we handle this? I'm sorry. But we're not gonna leave this to you. Huh? If that guy had something to do with our friends vanishing, then he's our problem too. We've got to work together. <laughs> right. <laughs> so then, where can we find that guy? Sarge, any word from the recon team? The latest reports place him in town, sir, at Galaxy Toys. Then Galaxy Toys is where we're going. Sora, mm -hmm. follow me. It's out the window and down the roof. Not so fast, cowboy. Hmm? You seem pretty gung-ho about going. But shouldn't we stay here and wait for Andy? Well, you've got a point, but we've tried waiting. Look, if we go with Sora, we might find a clue. Are you with me, Buzz? <laughs> huh. 
Of course. Okay, let's move out. Hey, why doesn't that toy move? I guess it hasn't figured it out. Figured what out? I can make it move for you. Uh -huh. You're from the dream! The first of the Xehanorts! I'm so honored you remember me. Oh no! He can move! Way cool! Look out! Wow. One heart's shadows fill the emptiness of another. See how they bring him to life? Like heartless and nobodies, they fit together. Enough! Why are you doing this? There's a darkness we are missing and must reclaim. The way hearts connect in this world can provide us with a clue. So we made a copy of the world, and then pulled those hearts apart. I wonder how you'll handle the strain. Wait! What does that mean? Don't let me down. What is going on? Is this boy a friend or foe? I think we've got our answer. <laughs> yeah! If the Heartless know how to do it, there's no reason you can't. Do what? Huh? Brilliant! I'm on it! He was being controlled? He wasn't just switched into battle mode by accident? Buzz? It's nothing. I'm confused. Hmm? That guy in the black coat, did he say he made a copy of the real world? What's that mean? It probably means they split this world in two. Your friends in one world, us in the other. Only one of the worlds is real, and the other is just really convincing. You can't be serious. Oh. That's right, you're from a video game. <laughs> well, maybe in your game, that's how things work. But here in reality, you can't split worlds. Uh -huh. well, this is ridiculous. No. I... Woody, let's go. I admit, it does sound just a little far-fetched. <clears throat> but, say we have been taken to some kind of alternate world. That would explain why your laser's real. And is it really that crazy? Worse than evil emperors and protecting the galaxy? Any of that ring a bell? <clears throat> Point taken. But that just means these strangers are part of the delusion. And I say it's time we parted ways and went home. Thought we were friends, not strangers. <laughs> Look, I get that it seems weird. But we know something's wrong with this place. We should stick together. Sora's right. They helped with the intruders, so they might help find our friends. They have been there for us so far. You can't deny that. Come on. Every toy deserves a fair shake. Am I right? Tell it to that toy over there. <gasps> hmm. Sheriff, sir! Huh? Rex has just been dino-napped! What's that? Oh. My men saw him get hauled up to the second floor, sir! 
And Ham and the aliens are MIA! Come on! We have got to find them! Please, let us help! Yeah! Well, Buzz? Do you really think we can save our friends on our own? We didn't get very far before. We gotta take all the help we can get. Don't worry. Hmm? Sora can be reckless. What? And Donald grumbles a lot. It's true. But you can trust him. Oh, I suspect you do. It's true. Huh? He does? <laughs> See, they don't seem bad. Am I right, Buzz? Okay, fine. We do need the extra help. But just so we're clear, I remain skeptical about this. I'll work with you till we find our friends. Okay. Thanks for the help, Sora, Donald, Goofy. My troops will return to the field, oh. sir! This ascent is going to be rather tricky. Too bad we're not strapped to a rocket, huh? <laughs> hey, think we could use that? Oh. It's perfect. Come on, guys. Where'd he go? You sure you saw him? Yes! He just... Shh. Do you guys hear something? Hmm... What's that? Oh. Something feels wrong. Oh! <laughs> Another toy's being controlled! Buzz, you sure? If it wanted to play nice, then it should have stayed away from my friends. Nice moves, Rex. That was great! Great? Really? Would you say I was impressive? Very impressive, Rex. We couldn't look away. Hooray! Oh, that makes me so happy. Were you watching too? Did you see what I did? I was going to fear some, Listen, but I Rex, think I might have actually achieved you... something close to Earth to Rex. Do you know where the others were taken? What do you mean? Did something bad happen? Back to square one. Oh, great. Huh? Sarge! Have you got a status report? Sir! One of my men just located Ham, forward of our position. In babies and toddlers. <sighs> the corporal was debriefing him. But something must have gone wrong. All radio contact has been lost. <clears throat> Anything more specific we can go on? Right before I lost contact, I heard music with some sort of sonic interference. Music? You think it could be the Heartless? What if it's another big monster? Let's find out. I agree. Actually, I think I'll head back and wait by the entrance. I'm sure those vents are going to be much too narrow for my big dinosaur tail. Really? I'm sure you'd fit. Rex is right. Besides, we need a lookout at the entrance. It's an important mission. Can you do it? Yes, sir!
this is babies and toddlers. Where do you guys think we should start? Sarge, didn't you mention music? Affirmative, Goofy! Hmm. All right. Why don't we look for things that make noise? Sure. That's contented for you. <laughs> what do you mean for me? Hey, where are you? Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I think they really are good guys. Hold well, <laughs> you wouldn't have trusted them otherwise. <laughs> Don't. And I know that your trust is a hard-earned treasure. Hmm. Well, for all our sakes, let's hope you're right, cowboy. I'm willing to give him a chance at least for a little while longer. Especially if it means getting Andy and our friends back. Agreed. Come on, Sora. You've never used a record player? <laughs> Huh? Like this! Whoa! <laughs> it's working! Wait, did that sound off to you? I'm dead! Huh? Yeah, hey! Sora! There's some kind of strange noise coming from the orchestra! <laughs> Got it! Woody, you keep the record going. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> this is the one! Something seems to be stuck in this tuba. I'll get it out. Almost got it. There! Carpro! Uh -huh. uh -huh. You alright, son? Uh, yes, sir. That's the soldier Sarge lost contact with. So, you found Ham? Yes, but while I was radioing in, a giant hand grabbed me, and it stuffed me in there. They must have taken Ham to another location. We have to hurry. Wait, Corporal. You're not fit for action. But Sarge... Your tour is over, son, and it's all right. Our trusted allies will take over. <laughs> I will move the corporal to a safer location. Good luck, gentlemen. <laughs> huh? Hey, 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 hey! What is going on? Oh, right! Woody! Mission complete! Uh, uh, why didn't you tell me a little sooner? Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, there's no time to rest. Ham yeah. needs us. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. Talk about cabin fever. Uh, Thanks for the save. You okay, Ham? Yeah, aside from being locked in, the accommodations are fine. Ah, we're not coming in our house. Whoa! Uh -huh. Who is... Uh, 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 What's uh, wrong? Uh, she's back! That's uh -huh. the doll that Big Ben me! Ham, take cover. 
Uh, copy that. One stay in the dreaded breakfast was enough for me. Not another possessed toy. Guys, look alive. Wait. Mm -hmm. What if we end up just like her? Forgetting ourselves and attacking each other. No way, Buzz. That won't happen. No way. You guys are too strong. You can't be sure. What if I get taken over then attack you? Buzz, you're overthinking it. Yeah. The Heartless, the Darkness, can only creep in when our hearts falter. Trust me, you'll be fine if you don't lose heart. Well, that's good. Because I know you, Buzz. You'll never lose heart when it comes to your friends. True enough, cowboy. Sorry to have worried you all. No problem. Now, <laughs> let's go find the others. Huh? <laughs> A flying saucer! I think I know who that might lead us to. Come on, guys! <laughs> hey, Woody. Uh, I just slow you down with all the loose change I'm carrying. I'll hang by the entrance. No problem. Be safe, Ham. Yeah. Hey, thanks, buddy. You just take care of your old self. Now, let's follow that UFO. Right! They have come for us. The mystic portal awaits. Oh, no! Wait! Stop! Farewell! It's getting away! <laughs> Don't go! We are back! Our ship is no more! Nirvana will not be reached. Oh. Sorry I trashed your ride. Fear not. We still have our new home. The Chamber of Andy. They're right. This isn't where we belong. We've been in this toy store long enough. It's time for us to go home to Andy's room. But Xehanort told us that room isn't even his real room. Can you prove that any of that nonsense is true? Oh. And even if that Andy's room is fake, it doesn't mean he's not somewhere in this world with us. I'm going home to wait for him. No more debate. You with me, Woody? Hmm. You're right, Buzz. Now that we're all accounted for, we should meet up at the entrance and go home. Okay. We could have used friends like you for the final showdown. But Organization 13's our problem to solve. Yeah, I can take him. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can we see you off? That would be great. Sarge, roll call. Sir, yes, sir. Roll call! All toys fall in! Sarge, army men times four. Ham, aliens, one, two, three. Wait, where's Rex? Eh, he took off. Said he wanted to prove to you you could trust Sora. He's up there by the video games. <sighs> well, here we go again. Huh? This is about us? <laughs> He's not safe. 
The Heartless are out there. You're right. Sora. Donald. Goofy. Any chance you could help us one last time? Oh, sure! Right. <sighs> Thanks, guys. Hooray! Look! Oh. <laughs> look, look! I found it! Uh, see, Sora? Well, I never looked this good. The clothes kind of match. Huh? Hmm? What do you know? They are video game figures. See? I told you, Buzz. They're toys, just like the rest of us. <gasps> well, I suppose. Donald, I thought your magic decided how I look. Explain. <laughs> Say, Riku would make a great action figure. <laughs> no, it's me. I've got the black clothes and, uh... So what? All right, everyone. Now that we're back together, oh. it's time oh. to return to Andy's room. Oh. Now? But can't I at least check the strategy guides? I want to know how to beat Bahamut! <sighs> Next time. Oh. Right now, we need to go oh. home. Oh, but you needn't rush off. Say uh, uh -huh. I have more to observe. I can't let you leave yet. It's us that you really want. Leave the others out of this. <laughs> you would say that, Champion of Light. Very well. Let's skip to the final stage. Pause? What's the matter? <gasps> Come on, Buzz. Quit fooling around. Look out! I can't believe it. Buzz has been taken over? <laughs> what did you do to him? I thought I made it clear. I am testing the strength of their bonds. In this world, Toys have hearts, and those hearts come from a powerful bond. So what happens when those bonds are stretched to their limit? When they are worlds apart, can cloth and plastic hold on to their hearts? All I needed was a wedge to widen the divide. Someone like you to fill them with distrust and doubt, and that chasm you created can be filled with a vast darkness. Witness it for yourself. Not this time. Where am I? Haven't you heard? In this world, you come from a video game. So now you can watch my experiment from inside that screen. That is, if you manage to find a moment's rest. There's got to be a way out. Buzz, Woody, hang on. <laughs> Sora! You all right, Sora? Yeah, I'm just fine. And you? Oh. Wait, where's Buzz? <sighs> he disappeared into a dark corridor. Oh. Sora, how do we get him back? I don't know. My power won't open those. <sighs> sir, did I hear you say Dark Corridor? That's right, Sarge. Any ideas? Well, it might be a long shot, but we've sighted a shadowy portal 
in the Kid Corral. We can infiltrate from a window inside babies and toddlers. I'll head there and get it open. Sarge, you're a lifesaver. You guys in? Yeah! yeah. Please promise you'll bring Buzz home. With batteries included? Journey safely. Farewell. Don't hmm. worry. We're going to get our friend back. It looked like this? Yep. Here goes. Nord. What do you want with my friend? Look, such tremendous darkness. All because he was ripped away from the boy who cares about him most. Does that mean... we'll all be like Buzz? If we don't find Andy? Wrong! Distance doesn't matter. Andy's part of their hearts, just like my friends are part of mine. <clears throat> you can't rip that apart. Huh. What? Your friends are your power? <laughs> How very true. But if the light of friendship is a form of power, the darkness of being alone is a power even greater. Darkness is the heart's true nature. Whatever you're talking about, I don't care. Put Buzz back the way he was, then get lost. Or else what, Toy? Yeah. I am a toy. And a friend. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. Because you know nothing about hearts and love. There are hearts all around us, trying to connect. Your loneliness only made Woody and Buzz's connection stronger. That's the heart's true nature, to never ever let go. Wherever they are, Andy and the other toys haven't let go either. Yeah, you can't keep us from Andy. We're going home no matter what. And taking Buzz. Xehanort, you're so caught up in finding the shadows, you forgot about the light that cast them. No. <laughs> uh Woody, now! Giddy up, partner. We gotta get this wagon train a moving. Woody. Wait, how did I get here? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody switched you into dark and stormy mode. But I don't have a... <sighs> Thank you, Woody. Good to have you back, Buzz. Hey, hurry up! Huh? We can't hold him much longer! Don't give up, guys! <laughs> oh! <laughs> So, even empty puppets can be given strong hearts. I am going to have to remember that. Remember this. Our hearts will always be connected to Andy's. No matter what you do. And that's something you'll never understand. 
because you are hollower than any toy. But now I know a heart can be placed in the vessel of our choosing. For that, let me give you a parting gift to play with. Wait! Find the heart's joint to yours. Huh? Oh. Oh. There! Careful! Whoa! Here goes! So Xehanort got away again! Yeah, he's a big chicken! I'm sorry. What? Hmm? I wanted to get you back to the real world. <sighs> it does seem that we're trapped here. We'll never get home. Yeah, stuck like pigs. Our position appears fixed. Oh no! Oh. A shame we'll have to stay a little longer. With our new best friends. Huh? After all the adventures we've had, we're not quite ready to say so long. <laughs> you guys... I'm sorry that I was being so stubborn. Please forgive me. Hey, you were just looking out for your friends. No biggie. Yeah, somebody's got to be the sensible one. Huh? Especially since Woody's always getting in trouble. Gorge, that sounds a little like Sora, don't it? Huh? Yeah, I want like a possible one. Like Buzz. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, if we do go back to the real world, we'll never see you again, right? Oh. But what about Andy? You care about him so much. Oh. And he's still right here with us. Oh. If we follow our hearts, we'll find them again. <laughs> yeah. So, Sora, are you going after the guy in the black coat? Something tells me we can't join you on that mission. That's okay, because you become part of our hearts. Oh. So let us become a part of yours. <laughs> 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 Thank you! <laughs> now, off you go! To infinity and beyond! What? We're too late? Yes. Evan would know all about the replicas from his time as Vexen in the organization. He was re-completed like the rest of us, but he didn't regain consciousness. After Lee left, he must have woken and taken his leave. Alias here and Dylan went out and turned the whole town upside down to try and find him. But no Evan. That's not good. What about his research? Unfortunately, his work on the replicas was incomplete. There may still be documents around, but all of them from well before he made any significant progress. Do you have any idea where he might go? There's no place that he could go now that he's human. He has no means of leaving this world. The Dark Corridors! are beyond his faculties and mine now. Oh, but not everyone's. 
What if Evan was taken? Of course! The organization could also use the replicas. To fill out their ranks. We better go tell Master Yen Sid. And Sora. And the others, too. Hmm. <laughs> Humanity is a precious gift, and yet you desire to return to the organization? Oh yes, of course. One eradication at Axel's hands was enough to learn where not to place my trust. He gave you a second lease on life. He ripped me away from the one thing I care about. I don't require humanity. Give me my research. I must see it to fruition, no matter the cost. The replicas. Yes. <laughs> Soon they will replace, not just replicate. Given a heart, they can become just as real as any human. What excellent tidings. I would hate to think we invited you back into our ranks, only for you to fail to deliver our final vessel. Vexen. <laughs> mm. Huh? Oh. Whoa! Oh. What? Donald! Goofy! Why do you guys look like monsters? Go, go, go! Well, you both scared me! Uh... Whoa! Seriously? Is this how we blend in here? That's right! It's about time you got in! Oh? Uh... Could you guys take a few steps back? You're giving me the heebie-jeebies. You can't uh, step back. Uh, yeah. Come on. I think our new look could turn out to be lots of fun. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Wonder what kind of weirdos live here. Who the thunk he'd get so creeped out? <laughs> <laughs> it says we scare because we care? Doesn't sound very caring. If they look like us, then they could be trouble. I think we better investigate. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> oh, wow! Wee! Hmm? I wonder who those guys are. What? Careful, Sully! If they see the KID! That's fine. We got nothing to hide. But you're the CEO! You set the example! Hmm. Guys! Guys! It, it's not what it looks like! Okay, listen. That kid over there just popped out of nowhere! We got it called the CDA. Uh, it's, uh, uh, oh yeah! A code 835. <laughs> Are you trying to scare that little girl? Yes! I mean, no, no, no! We're done with scare power. Nobody's getting scared. <laughs> Mike, take it easy. <sighs> you should too, Sora. You see? She's happy! 
Oh. <laughs> Hello. My name is Sora. Boo. Oh, is that your name? Nice to meet you, Boo. <laughs> huh? Hold on! You guys really aren't afraid of humans? Mike Wazowski! Huh? Come on, Boo! I'm Mike Wazowski! Mike Wazowski! <laughs> well, you can see the resemblance. That googly bear eye. Let's go again! I'm kind of dumb! Mike Wazowski! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm Goofy. Well, my name's Sully, and this is... Oh, we know. Mike Wazowski, right? What's the matter, Boo? Not the Heartless's emblem? Why not? And how come I feel like I might have seen them before? Well, they aren't friendly. <sighs> Stay here, Kitty will be back. Hmm. Those guys are right, Sully. This has got bad news written all over it. Yeah, we gotta keep Boo safe. I'm on it! <laughs> All right! <laughs> nice, Sully! Even with those extra pounds you put on! <laughs> Still run circles around you, Butterball. <laughs> Kitty! Hmm? What? So any idea who those guys were? Mm -hmm. Well... They couldn't have been heartless. Hmm... It's on the tip of my tongue. I remember the king told us something about negative emotions. Unversed? Oh yeah, them! Unversed? Uh-huh. A while back, the king <laughs> fought a whole bunch <laughs> of battles against them <laughs> with the three missing Keyblade wielders. The same three that we're looking for? Aqua, Terra, and Ventus? Hey! Still, how come the unburst are showing up now? Hey, I told you we're through using that! Hmm. Besides, we have no idea who or what you're talking about. Mm. Oh, you'd really like the king. Uh oh! Whoa! Mm -hmm. Order! <laughs> um. Basically, we've come from far away to get rid of those creatures causing trouble. We're like exterminators? Mm -hmm. Just how far away? As far as you can imagine. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's just say we buy all that. Are those creeps dangerous? They sure gave Boo a scare. Sully, I know you've missed her. But it's time to postpone our play date. You're right, Mikey. Let's get our girl home. Mm. What are you planning to do? It's kind of a long story, but Boo's from another world. And we gotta send it back there to keep us safe. Okay then, we're gonna help you. What? Well, the unversed might try to cause more trouble. So we wanna come along. Great! We could use a couple of exterminators around here! Yeah, thanks. <laughs> hey, they need us. Besides, we need to figure out how all those unversed got here. Gotta send her home right now, or so help me! So help me! So help me! So, Monsters Incorporated used to rely on screen right power now, from human me. kids so for help energy. Me. So help me. But now we collect their laughter instead. It right turns right out, so laughter is ten so times me. more powerful. So hmm? Mm hmm? Kitty! And we never figured it out without Boo. Cool. 
Our ship's powered by laughter, too. Guess we've got that in common. So is the laughter machine. <laughs> Come on, I am not. Whoa. Unburst her back! This is terrible! Look! There's Boo's door! <clears throat> Go get uh. Boo! <laughs> we'll have to play another time, Boo. You stay here. Ready to clean house? to the door when you're ready. Got it. Ready. Boo? Hold on. Don't want you to get hurt. I just got a great idea. Don't worry, I'll watch Boo. Okay. Yeah. Sora, we gotta make Boo laugh to open the door. <laughs> the door's open. to hitch another ride. Cool. <laughs> there it is! Take a wrong turn. <laughs> Who cares? All that matters is that it's the last turn that you losers are ever gonna take. Randall? Uh, who's he? A creep we banished for trying to collect screams by force. He used to be Boo's scarer. How did you even get back here? The door we sent you through is sawdust. 
Yeah, and I almost got turned into somebody's wallet. Lucky for me, a real nice guy came along and fixed the door. So here I am. And starting today, I'm numero uno, top of the leaderboard, baby. Ha! Uh, you a top laugh collector? In your dreams, Randall, my laugh totals are off the charts. Who said anything about collecting laughs? I'm after negative emotions. And my new friends have kindly invaded the factory to get them for me. Hmm. Negative emotions? Who's trying to know? Yeah, Organization 13 must be helping them. Laughter's just not sustainable. Once Junior torts his last chortle, you've got to start over. But negative energy, especially sadness, give them something that really breaks their little hearts. And they'll stay sad forever. We'll never have to worry about energy again. We're not gonna let you hurt anyone like that! Huh? Not you, or your little unversed helpers! Just try and stop me. You'll see soon enough. I am gonna be a legend around this place. Now, consider your careers officially over. What? And that goes for the rest of you, too. Hey! Where'd he go? We're in control of this factory now. And I suggested a few improvements. Some real doozies I just know you're gonna love. In fact, you're not getting out of here alive. That weasel means business. He'll never quit. We have got to get Boo to safety first. Then we can take care of Randall. Time to find a way out. Yeah. For the machines! They've gone totally bonkers! There's no way we can take Boo through here safely! <coughs> this must be what Randall meant by improvements. <coughs> <coughs> Nothing we can't handle. Yep. Sully, maybe you and Mike should take Boo someplace that's safe. Right. Great! The power's out again! Okay! We know what to do! Mm. Mm. Gotta find... <gasps> Bingo! Huh? Uh, Mike? How's that supposed to help? <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> That's good! Yep, take it away. Nice try, Mike. What? I'm not doing uh, this wait. alone. Hey, you, not me. Uh, come on. Sully, whoa. <laughs> no, stop. Sully, not what I had in mind. <laughs> oh, it's on! Nice work, guys! <laughs> Kitty! Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are. That paint was kind of growing on me. Woo! This is way better. <laughs> ah, hey, no. Would you cut that out? <laughs> Kitty! Who? Uh, <laughs> come here. Sully, let's get her out of here. <laughs> the Heartless are here too?
Once we get through here, we're clear. Yep, this is the central control unit for the whole factory. Now, what do you say? We get out of here. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, hey! Show a little finesse! Oh. Rats! Randall must have messed this up. Nothing works. We can't get out. Maybe it would be faster to just break it. Oh, that's brilliant! Ah! Hang on! Oh. Oh. Think I've got a better idea. If we can just short it out, the lock will disengage. And lucky for us, Boo is a walking energy generator. Hmm. That might work? You're our MVP, Boo. Hider! I'm on it. It's no use. We need a bigger burst of laughter. Would you care to do the honors? I'd love to. Set! Uh, I'm not cut out for this racket. <clears throat> Come on, it's a tennis joke. Should I have gone with ping pong? Nothing could have saved that one. <clears throat> Wait! Wait! Wow! Nobody move! I dropped my contact! I don't think Boo's gonna get it, Mike. Uh, Do you get it? Yeah, it's cause his eyes so mm. big. Mm -hmm. The joke is, you can't lose a contact the size oh. of a dinner plate. Oh, fuck! <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be doing a dish? I am, once I'm warmed up. Sora, do the funny face special. Huh? What? Uh, if you insist. Join in! <laughs> Sora's aiming for your job. <laughs> you boys aren't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Give it a rest, Randall. You're not gonna get away with this. We'll stop anything you throw at us. Yeah! Maybe you will. Or then again, maybe you won't. I have still got an ace up my sleeve. <clears throat> now, I command you to destroy them! Huh? Hey, come on! Move! Move, you stupid... <sighs> Looks like your ace is a joker. <sighs> what a pile of junk! No. What? Hey! No. Just <sighs> leave him. Don't think he can cause us any more trouble. Kitty! Besides, we gotta focus on getting <laughs> Boo home. You're right. Boo's door has to be somewhere in the vault. If we head outside and go through the power station, we can get to the door vault that way. Follow me.
Oh! Oh no! Disregard code 835, 7216 in progress. We have visual on unidentified life forms. Suspected cause of the conflagration. Code 7216 over. We gotta get to Boo's door. Yeah. Wait. Ready to descend. Stand aside. We'll get this fire put out pronto. Code 7216. Unidentified life forms sighted. These guys are our specialty. Thank you. You did great. Yes, sir. We'll be on our way. Time to go. Hmm. Yeah. This way. Right. This time we're really stuck. Oh. Sully, have you got any ideas? Just give me a second. Mm. Kitty! Oh. Mm? Uh. Oh. <laughs> mm? If I'm right about that pipe. Mm. Yep, it's perfect. Boo! Thank you! <laughs> We gotta follow that pipe. What? Wait a sec. I thought we were going straight to the door vault. The only place that pipe leads is to the cooling tank. <sighs> you sure you don't have a better idea? Don't worry, Mike. Just trust me. <laughs> Kitty! <laughs> I'm pretty sure maintenance hasn't finished patching it up. This way. <laughs> Wait a second. It's the door vault. Uh, yep, what I tell you. Sure, nice job, Saul. Seriously, if I didn't know any better. I'd say you actually ran the place. Thanks, Mikey. All right. It's not much farther. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Everybody look for Boo's door. Oh. <laughs> Randall. Didn't you learn your lesson with that pile of junk fiasco? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I learned a lot. Oh. Uh. Mm? Wait, Mike. Something's different. <laughs> oh, please. It's just more junk. <laughs> <laughs> An unburst. Mike, time to reach down and let the scary out. Oh, I'm ready, Sully. I'm ready. Finally. 
this is exactly what I need to take over the company. But first, I am getting rid of you. Attack! And in you go. There's no place for you here anymore, Randall. Now we're in the business of making children laugh. <laughs> you think it's funny? Hilarious! The more that you whine, the funnier it gets. <laughs> Enjoy your extended vacation. <laughs> you clowns are gonna be sorry. When I find my way back, and I finally take over this oh, place! Oh, gators in the house again! <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, this guy's <laughs> in for it! Come here, you! Oh. Oh. Get out of here! Got you. <laughs> so long! Smell you later! And now we just need to do one last thing. Hmm? Hang on. Hmm? I have a way to lock him out. Okay, Boo. Yeah. Time to go home. You must be tuckered out. But we'll play together real soon. No. Huh? 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 Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 What Whoa. now? <laughs> Who are you? Gotta say, that strange facade had me fooled at first, brother. Oh, wait a sec. <gasps> oh yeah, you were at the cathedral. And hey, who are you to call anyone strange? Say, do we know this guy? <clears throat> we haven't ever met in the flesh. I am Vanitas. Hey, <clears throat> this is the part where you spout some mumbo jumbo and disappear, right? This whole world was powered by Scream. They converted the screams of human children into energy. And this very company was what made it all happen. It's as rich a source of negative emotion as we'll ever find. For the last time, we already stopped doing that! Did you? Then how do you explain all these canisters of surplus Scream? This facility was everything I could hope for, and I was lucky enough to find a pawn whose heart was darkened by thoughts of revenge. You mean Randall. All Randall ever cared about was winning, and this guy took advantage of that weakness. My heart is made of just one thing, and the Unversed collected enough screams and sadness from those children to reconstruct it. Yeah, and the whole time they were oh. trashing our company in the process! 
But even with all this negative emotion, my heart is still incomplete. I need something else. The half of me that sleeps on inside of your heart. Venetus! Huh? What? Huh? Ventus. What a strange place to slither off to. You insignificant speck. What are you talking about? Oh, you wouldn't remember. When you were little, you formed a special bond with a boy named Ventus who joined with your heart. Is he saying that one of the missing Keyblade wielders is inside Sora's heart? How is that possible? Uh... Now, you will return Ventus to me. <laughs> Donald! Goofy! The King told us about this! Ventus wasn't able to defeat Vanitas! They struck each other down, and then the king said that Ventus's heart never returned to him. Stay out of this. Join your heart with mine. Need to look. Let me go. Come here, Sully. Close it quick. <laughs> We owe you. No, we should be thanking you. We never would have managed to get Boo this far if you hadn't come along to help. And finally, we found her door. <laughs> Boo, I know how excited you were to come play with Mike and Sully. Sorry we dragged you into this. Hey, you are way scarier. Gorge, I think you're both scary. Well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Boo. Time to go. Kitty. We'll catch up soon, kid. Mike Wazowski. <sighs> no, that's Donald, Boo. Mike Wazowski. <gasps> Better. I'll see you, kid. Sorry for all the headaches we caused. Don't mention it. And actually, it was kind of nice having a little adventure for old time's sake. Yeah, the flying and the falling. And hey, let's not do that painting again. But nothing like running for our lives to get the heart pumping. <laughs> I had a great time. Donald, all you did was complain. I did <laughs> Any chance that we can drop by again? The door's always open. And maybe Boo can join us. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> For the record, I still get the most laughs. Happy exterminating. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
fuck you! No! We should go to the Realm of Darkness! No way! You can't go there until you get the power of waking! But come on! We have to do something! If we don't act, the organization's gonna win! Oh. Sora, do you even know how to get to the Realm of Darkness? Uh, uh, well, Riku and the King do. I won't tell you. Nope, not until you complete your own mission. <sighs> huh? The king? Riku? Is this a bad time? Ienzo. Uh, hmm. So, I have some news about Ansem's code. And the replica we need for Roxas's heart. Oh! And? First the replica. Evan is still missing, but we found some of his research. I'll see what I can learn from it. You've got our thanks. As for Ansem the Wise's data, we've discovered a very interesting passage. I'll read you exactly what he wrote. I have discovered three unique hearts inside of Sora's. One is Roxas. The second has been with Sora for nearly as long. And a third has resided in Sora's heart for even longer. Most of his life, in fact. This is a truly astonishing discovery. While these hearts have now melded with Sora, grown silent and indistinct, Sora retains the memories of all three. The memories have been compartmentalized, each placed in its own box, so to speak. I surmise the hearts can be awoken, provided that each of them is returned to the box that contains the correct memories. Unite the heart with its memories, and provide it a suitable body within which it may flourish. And I believe any or all three of these people can be made real again. Roxas and two more? Who else? Hmm... Oh, thanks, Ienzo. Certainly. Take care. Three different hats! One of them's Roxas. The other one must be Ventus. You did a maneuver right in the shadow! Well, uh, it's kinda all we got to go on. Sora, do you know who the third one might be? Uh-uh. Hey, that's not related. <laughs> Donald! Tell me, will you stay here? I can't shake the feeling that these waters touch another shore I've visited. The Destiny Islands. Uh, you've heard of them? Yes, they are quite lovely. A far cry from this wasteland. 
I'm staying. Someone will come for me. These waters are the in-between of dark and light. It shores the margins of day and night. They brought you and I together. So why not also you and another? Yes. There. Hmm? You. Master, I must have a word with you. Master? So now you mock me. Do you recall those experiments of the heart you bade me cease? Among the test subjects was a girl. She had lost her memory just as I had. But you can reconstruct memories you did with Sora. I believe you have seen the girl's memories. What is your question? Where did you put the girl? What girl? Very well, if you won't tell me here. I think you should go. A lost guardian of light? Hmm. You wait here for the king and his fool. Where's your keyblade? Don't need it. No more! I'll go. <laughs> you are wise. <laughs> Poor thing. I mustn't leave you with nothing. Dale, what's up? Chip just got a message from Merlin. Chip, I got him. Hey, Chipper. Hi, Sora. Hi, Chip. Does Merlin need us for something? Yep, I think it's got something to do with some kind of book. He said he'll have a cup of tea while he waits for you. A cup of tea? Where? Oh, no. He said tea, but he didn't say where. Do you mean he left? Before you could find out? He's a tough wizard to pin down. Anyway, message delivered. Bye. Where could he be having tea? I don't know. Say, hmm. if you were going to have a cup of tea, wouldn't you want to have it at the best restaurant that you could find? Oh, of course. What a chef's bistro. Yeah! Let's go drop by Twilight Town and we can see if Merlin's there! Ah! Greetings, gentlemen! What brings you all the way out here? Besides, the finest tea this side of Big Ben, of course. Uh, huh? But, Merlin, I thought that you asked us to stop by. Gracious, did I? Mm-hmm. Didn't you leave a message for us with Chip and Dale? About a book? Ah, yes, the book. That's right. 
Behold! Hey, this is... Did something happen? Well, that's what you need to find out, lad. <sighs> okay, I'll see you in a bit. Take care. Yes, and good luck. Bother. Sink, sink, sink. Sink, sink, sink. Mm. Pooh Bear! Mm -hmm. You okay? Oh, hello there, Sora. <laughs> You're home. Uh huh. Good to see you, Pooh. And you too, Piglet. Hello! <laughs> You're not in trouble? But I thought something odd must be going on. Ooh. Let me see. I don't remember anything oddish, but perhaps I've forgotten. Sink, sink, sink. Oh, sink, we've sink, got trouble, sink. all right. Oh, bother. Would that be the rabbit sort of trouble? Mm. So, so, sorry. Um, please continue. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Wow, who's this? Huh? <laughs> it's okay, he's my friend. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sora. And I'm Lumpy, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stuffering, sassafras, stomp around a little louder, why don't you? Oh, go for I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of like it when the ground gets bouncy. Well, I suppose if something has to bounce. Huh? Mm -hmm. Speaking of. Hmm? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Back for some more bouncing, Sora. <laughs> Tigger! Come on, let's go! <laughs> you too, Roo! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> me too, me too, I wanna bounce! Oh yes, it is time for bouncing! <laughs> 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 Are welcome. Oh, I remember now. Rabbit's trouble is harvest related. <laughs> well, thank you for remembering my plight, Pooh. Better late than never. <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Would anyone else care to remember why we're here? Huh? Hmm. As I recall, we came to help you with your garden, Rabbit. After which, perhaps, you'll invite us in for a smackerel or two of honey? Correct. No, no! I mean, we'll, we'll see about that, Pooh. Now, the garden, if you please. You can help too, Sora. What? Me too? What a harvest! And thanks to Sora's help, Yes, quite right. Thank you, Sora. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's about a little more bouncing? Oh, no, 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 no. There's no bouncing in farm work. Aww. No bouncing at all? Huh? I want to bounce. Mm -hmm. Whipper, snappers, and they're bouncing. <laughs> Excuse me, Rabbit. The carrots are very nice, but uh, might you have some honey to go with them? 
Now's not the time, Pooh. If I give you any honey here, I'll just end up with a bear stuck in my front door again. Well, looks like your problem's solved. Guess I'll be on my way. Solved? Oh, it's far from solved. We still need to harvest the fruit. <sighs> Won't you stay, Sora, for the sake of honey? Uh, okay. Yes, yes! Look at all this marvelous fruit! Oh, it's lovely! Lumpy loves, loves, loves fruit! <laughs> You know, Rabbit, I find that fruit always tastes better with a little honey. You're right, Pooh. <laughs> it certainly does. Hoo-hoo! Then I'll keep looking for fruit up at Bouncing Height. And I'll search closer to the soil. <laughs> Sora, could you help me with my flower patch? I've got a surprise for Pooh. Hmm? A surprise? For Pooh Bear? Yes, Sora? <laughs> oh, it's nothing, Pooh. Here, Pooh, a pot full of honey. It's your reward for being such a big help. Eat all you want. Oh, thank you, Rabbit. You planted all these flowers just for Pooh? Really? Why? It's simple, honey. Flowers mean nectar. Nectar means honeybees. And honeybees mean honey. Oh, and the flowers are so lovely. I like the pretty colors. Look at them all! They're both an even higher than me! Oh. Wow! Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Sora, I believe the one I should thank for all that yummy, delicious honey is you. Don't mention it, Pooh. Besides, we all helped. Um, Sora... Hmm? You used to be right here. Why is it that you went away? Away? Oh, that's what you meant by your home. Yes. You see, when I get a rumbly in my tumbly, it's very hard to think of anything but honey. So I was worried that I might have forgotten you away. Silly bear, I'd never. Oh, <laughs> good. Because I want us to be together forever. Pooh, we are together. There isn't a second that we're not. Except I can feel it. Our connection's weaker. Why is that? What's wrong, Sora? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. What matters is I'll be here from now on. <laughs> no going away. Thank you, Sora. Splendid. All is as it should be. But how come Sora's picture disappeared in the first place? Sora? Something's happened to me that made me vanish from Pooh's heart. Merlin, 
I don't ever want to lose my friends. Hmm. Well now. Huh? There's no need to fret, lad. Whatever's lost can be found again. There are always new paths between hearts for us to discover and traverse. But you already know that. <sighs> yeah! He's too used to the beach. <laughs> hey, Islander, what can I say? Huh? Huh? Look, even the sea's turning to ice. Donald, this isn't your magic, is it? Uh -uh. Do you think it's the Heartless? Might be. Let's go. Wow. Hmm? Ooh. I wonder what happened. Maybe the Heartless? We should talk to her. Mm -hmm. Hey, hold up! <gasps> Why are you here? Where did you come from? Hi, I'm Sora. And I... Uh, I'm from... Let's just say... Someplace a little warmer. Huh? I'm Donald. And I'm Goofy. Are you visiting Arendelle for the coronation? Huh? Uh. Um. Uh. You got us. <laughs> so, what's your name? Elsa. Queen Elsa of Arendelle. What? The Queen? Huh. You shouldn't be out here. Please go back to the village. Why? Your Majesty, you look like you could use a friend. Don't you want to talk? Please leave. I need to be alone. I don't want to hurt anyone. Oh. Is it that bad? You must have been through a lot. We know what that's like, don't we? Sure, adventuring's fun, but it definitely has its ups and downs. When the going gets tough, us friends have to stick together. <laughs> exactly. Although, Donald, you do lose your temper a lot, so I can relate to wanting some alone time. What? I don't do that. Enough! Whoa! <laughs> wow. <gasps> Elsa, did you? <gasps> the Heartless! <laughs> Don't worry, we got him. Take cover.
Elsa, are you okay? I... I'm sorry I was so upset. Thank you for your help. <gasps> Look out! Whoa. That's amazing. You can control ice. Control it? No, all I ever do is hurt people. It's okay. Those were just the heartless. You said that word before. What are they? Monsters that are after people's hearts. Wherever they go, there's trouble. They're after people's hearts? Yes, they're dangerous. You should head home before it gets any worse. This is my home now. I can't go back. I don't want to hurt anyone. What? Arendelle is safer with me staying up here. <sighs> Not safer for you! Oh. Please, go away! Elsa... Oh, don't worry. She'll be okay. Seems like she's pretty strong. You gotta let her go. She wants to be alone. Yeah, I hear you. But I just wanted to know why she was so sad. And how is it any of your business? Huh? Read the room, kiddo. Who are you? That's... The organization code. You knew? <gasps> Excuse me? Oh yeah, you forgot. The name's Larkseen. This time remember. And we'll take care of Elsa. So don't you worry. Uh... Do you... Yep. Well, she seems to think she knows us, so maybe we should play along. Not unless her name's Tara. Excuse me, I'm right here! Oh. <laughs> Why are you after Elsa? No one's gonna hurt her, but we're not about to put up with your meddling. Stay here and behave yourself. Wait, the ice! It's going to wall us in! Ice is so not my style. <laughs> Loxene! Hmm. Anybody see a way out? Not me. Well, we can't stay in here. Elsa's in real trouble now. Yeah, Larkseen promised not to hurt her, but I trust those guys as far as I can throw them. They gotta be up to no good. Clearly. <laughs> See her? I think she might have gone up in that direction. What? Okay, come on!
I don't know what we just saw, but wow. That was Elsa? She went different. And a lot happier, too. Let's say hi. Please don't tell me that you're spying on her now. Oh, Larkseen! <laughs> don't turn this around on us. You're following her. Ooh, look at you get all sassy. Okay, I'll admit, Elsa is a person of interest to us. Maybe she's one of the seven pure lights we need. The new seven hearts. Gotta make sure, though. Fortunately, we're in the best position to tell. Can't pick out that special glimmer, unless you're standing in the shadows. And maybe Elsa doesn't have it. I mean, just look how icy her palace is, made of magic she forced herself to keep hidden until now. What if it's dark magic? Elsa would never rely on the darkness. Actually, it's still too early to call. Depends on how she sees it. If she believes her magic is darkness, that's what it will become. Accepting her power, whatever it is, is the only way she can set her heart free. So what will Elsa accept? Light or darkness? I know I want to know. Well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness. It's her choice to make, not yours. You know, I'm starting to understand why she gave you the cold shoulder. Arxene! You want to help her? Then stop trying to be her hero. Let her figure things out her own way! Huh? Donald! Goofy! Are you okay? <laughs> Oh, good. I think we should probably go check on Elsa. And make sure Larkseen was wrong about her magic. Yeah. But don't you tell her what Larkseen said? Huh? Why not? Well, to keep the order. Yeah, order. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, fellas. Do you hear that? Huh? Look! Huh? Get all the pretty colors. There's blue and green. Ooh, I love green. And look, black. Ah, just like my buttons. <laughs> hmm? Silly spiky grass. Give me back my foot. Was that a snowman? Huh? Uh, 
Did you see that snowman? Snowman? Yeah, and here's the funny thing. He was walking and talking. Huh? Mm -hmm. Everybody knows snowman can walk. You must have imagined it. Huh, I thought he was real. Well, maybe we'll see him again. But if we don't get going, we'll never reach Elsa's palace. Hmm. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Come on. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to meet Elsa. I bet she's the nicest, warmest, best person ever. <laughs> wow! See, I told you, a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> well, what do you know? You were right. I want to look. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really are alive. What's making you walk? Uh, huh? Um, well, <laughs> I guess uh, my feet. Hello. Olaf, are these your friends? Hmm? Nope. Never met him. Don't know anyone blue, green, or who's oddly spiky. Spiky? My hair? <laughs> Wait, why don't I get a color hmm? too? My name is Sora. And I'm Donald Duck. Oh, and I'd be Goofy the Green. I'm Anna. And I know they're strangers, but they seem pretty nice to me. I'm Kristoff, and this is Sven. <coughs> nice to meet you. So, where are you guys all headed? We're going to try and put an end to this crazy winter. And to do that, we need to find my sister Elsa. Elsa's your sister? What a coincidence. We're going to see her too. Huh? You know Elsa? Yeah, we ran into her up the mountain. Um, do you mind telling us what's going on around here? We're worried. We think your sister might be in some trouble. Trouble? Are you sure? <sighs> <sighs> All right. I know we just met, but Sora, was it? I get the feeling that you're someone to trust. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I just hope you like long stories. Sure. You know, I should go find some moss for Sven. He's looking a little hungry. Come on, Sven. Hey, wait, 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 wait. what's going on? Tell me, is something happening? <sighs> Come on, Olaf, you're with me. Sure, Sven. Reindeer Sven too? The reindeer is Sven. Oh, how fun. <laughs> When we were little, my sister and I used to be really close. But then, one day, for some reason, Elsa just shut me out.
I shouldn't have upset her the way I did. Elsa ran away because she was frightened. I have to bring her home. I'm sure she knows how much you love her. And I think maybe that's why she looks so sad. It's just like when Riku disappeared. He thought he had to push me away to protect me. Maybe Elsa's the same. If anyone can help her, it's you. Huh? <sighs> Thanks. Hey guys, I need oh. some help. Huh? <sighs> What's the problem? This. Hmm. A stick problem? It's not a stick. Well, it is a stick, but it, it, it's Olaf's arm. <sighs> He's falling apart again. Falling apart? Uh, how come you're not upset? Oh, it's no big deal. He's a snowman. We'll just put him back together. What? Really? You can do that? Well, I gotta say this. <laughs> The pieces can't be too far from here. Could you guys help us look for them? And that should do it. You sure something's not missing? Nah, looks right. <sighs> wow, I feel so much better. Wait, where's my cute new nose? The one Anna gave me. Uh, Sora? Do you have his notes? I don't think so. No, didn't see it. <gasps> oh, mm -hmm. Sven. <laughs> Someone had to pick it up. You're right, buddy. Thanks for finding it and not actually eating it. Oh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. I love having a nose. Hey, Kristoff, how'd all this happen anyway? You know, I'm not sure. These weird animals, well, they were more like monsters. They just crashed into Olaf. Oh, I knew it. The Heartless again. Yeah. The Heartless. Hmm. And I thought the wolves around here were bad. Kristoff, look! They're back. No, I've already fallen apart today. We know how to handle them. Anna, Kristoff, keep going. Okay. Wait, what? You kind of set off an eternal winter? Everywhere. Everywhere? Well, it's okay, you can just unfreeze it. No, I can't. I don't know how. Sure you can. I know you can. Anna and the others must have gone inside. Are you hurt? No. 
I'm fine. But I think something terrible must have happened. I hope our friends are okay. What? what? Stop! Put us down! Go away! Heads up! Oh! Watch out for my butt! Hey, it is not nice to throw whoa, people! Whoa, 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 feisty pants. <gasps> okay, go. relax. Just calm down. Calm down. Okay, all Just right. Let the I'm okay. snowman be. I'm calm. Right. Huh? Oh, come on. Oh, see? Now you made him mad. I'll distract him! You guys go! No, no, not you guys! <laughs> this has got a whole lot harder. We can buy you some time! Wait for me! Huh? Where's Goofy? Huh? Hey, Sora! I got an idea! Okay, what are you doing? Oh, that's perfect! Get ready! Okay, now! Oh, yeah! Bring it, Snowball! Good thing snow's so soft. We could do this a hundred times. No! What's that? Oh, you, you sure you don't want to go again? <sighs> no, thank you! <sighs> Do you think everybody else made it? Well, I don't think the snow monster got them. That probably went back to the palace. Makes sense. For us, too. We still need to talk to Elsa. Second time's the charm. Yeah, back to the ice palace. Hmm? Hey, that's Elsa. But who's that guy? It could be somebody from Arendale who came up here to help her. <sighs> Don't think so. That doesn't look like help to me. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. Darkness? Hmm. <laughs> Let's move! Him again? You better not have hurt our friends! Huh? Oh, Go, wh wh hey! Wait up! Are you... looking for Elsa too? Whoa! Easy! Do you want to save her from the 
bad guy? We're on the same side! Elsa... I guess all he ever wanted to do was keep Elsa safe. Hey, we should team up, big guy. Come on, we want to help her too. Why not? <laughs> so, what do you say? <laughs> One great thing about Sora, he can always make friends with anybody. <laughs> Donald, Goofy, come on! Wait for us! Stop it! Put me down! That's Kristoff! Do me a favor and wait here. If you come along, Kristoff might freak out. No, Sven. We're not going back. She's with her true love. Kristoff! Hmm? Sora. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm glad you guys are safe. Hmm. Where'd Anna go? She's back at home. Huh? Something happened? Anna was struck in the heart by Elsa's ice magic. If the ice isn't removed, she'll freeze forever. Only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. So I took her back to Arendelle and her true love, Hans. But what about you? Hmm? What about me? Uh, I sort of assumed you guys were... No! I just keep her from getting lost. Really? Oh, but you seem so... Perfect together! Yeah, <laughs> Oh. What? Oh. Anna! Oh. 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 Elsa. Is that where Elsa is? Elsa and Anna might both need our help. Let's go! <laughs> Kristoff? Anna! <laughs> Elsa, Anna. No! Anna. think this will help Anna? I don't know. But we better try something. Watch it!
has filled both their hearts with light. Larxene! Two in one world. Definitely didn't see that coming. First Marluxia, now you! What is this all about? Oh, I see. So you bumped into Marluxia. Then why am I explaining this again? I told you before. The new seven hearts. If you mess up, and don't find your seven guardians of light. We're gonna need another group to fall back on. Leave innocent people out of it! Oh, look at this tough guy, such a big boy now. Well, maybe you should do your job and find the other guardians of light. <laughs> Please, like you found your 13. The king said you're one seeker of darkness short. Oh no, we're set. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they have all thirteen? Then, if we don't find our seven, they'll go after Elsa and Anna. It'll be okay. They're strong. And now, it's our turn. Oh. <sighs> You're right. They have each other. Anna. Oh, Elsa. You've sacrificed yourself for me. I love you. <gasps> An act of true love will thaw frozen heart. Love will thaw. Love. Elsa? Of course. Love. Sorry we're late. It's okay. You got here as fast as you could. The organization claims to have their 13 darknesses. Do we believe it's true? Um, I don't know. But there's something else they keep mentioning. 
They're after a new Seven Hearts, which seems to be code for, let's go bother more princesses. Well, as the original Princesses of Hearts' time for protecting the pure light has ended, they have passed the light to others. Our enemy must certainly be cognizant of this. If the new Seven Hearts is what they wish to call them, so be it. But Kyrie hasn't passed on her power. Is she one of the new Seven? She must be. But still, she chose to wield a Keyblade and fight with us as one of the Guardians of Light. Yeah. We haven't found Kyrie yet. Hey, at least we've tracked down Ventus. Vanitas told us that he's inside Sora's heart. And so did Ansem the Wise in his data, so it almost certainly must be true. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's great! Now we can rescue Ven! Maybe. Except Aqua's the only one who knows where he's hidden. We still have to find her first. I'll go. What? what? Is that wise? You need the power of waking, Sora. Do you have it? Uh... No. Probably not. Without that power, you are not ready to face the realm of darkness. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Sorry. Master Yen Sid knows you a little too well. He said you'd try to stage a half-baked rescue. <laughs> yeah! Laugh it up! Sora, huh? I know you're volunteering because you're worried. About me and Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks. But... The power of waking's important. You can come to the rescue once you've got that. Sound fair? Yeah. All right. But be safe. No reckless stunts. Yes, sir. Tell us the reckless one. No, not exactly. He just doesn't think. If only he'd listen to Master Yen Sid the way he listens to Riku. That would be a good start. I'm listening now. <laughs> Very good. Sora will continue his journey to build his powers, while Mickey and Riku will focus on the search for Aqua. Yes, yes sir! sir. So why are you back? Nice way to greet your old partner in crime. <laughs> so, why do you think the old geezer took us back? He must know we backstabbed the organization when Xemnas was running it. Xehanort doesn't care about you or me. To him, we're nothing but empty husks. The old organization was the same. Xehanort needs 13 vessels to hold his essence. Husks? Not me. You up for another coup? Oh, please. Uh. You couldn't do it last time. You gotta play it smart. Like me. What? You're not smart? Well, you heard what Marley said. I don't have to be smart. Or capable, or likable, or attractive. A cereal bowl would make a better vessel. Whoa, now. You are way out of line. I am extremely imposing. When I want to be. Which is admittedly almost never. Why haven't you gone to any worlds? Are you slacking? Of course not. I got benched. Huh? Syx brought Vexen on board. They must be planning to use replicas. Those wind-up toys? Oh, no. The replicas are way more real than you remember. I mean, one stole my spot. <laughs> of course 
Vincent stole your spot. You're dumb as a brick. <laughs> Hardy har. Vexen's latest replicas are no mere puppets. The Riku replica we used in Castle Oblivion was just a prototype. The next replica, the one crafted from Sora's memories, was real enough to join our ranks. And Vexen claims the new ones will be human in every way. If he ever finishes them. Oh, the thing is, I kind of told Sora and his nitwits that we're ready. My bad. Let them believe as much. Ugh, Xemnas. If they think that we have all 13 darknesses, then they will panic. And panic leads to a lack of preparation. Yeah, totally. Why is this thing a member again? Hey now, pointing is rude. The first six members of the original organization were all apprentices to Ansem the Wise, and the seventh and eighth members joined thereafter. The thirteenth member was Roxas, a Keyblade wielder. So, what about you? How do you suppose I chose numbers 9 through 12? Because our hearts are uber powerful. Wrong. You have been brought together for another purpose. What? So that we can rot away on the bottom rung? Ugh. You're in two? What is this organization rehash? I happen to play an important role. No one benched me. You were listening? So not cool? One must hold one's cards as long as necessary. What important role? That stupid box that Zigbar claims is real, but won't tell us a thing about? You'll just have to ask Zigbar that. Now then, Semnus, what is this purpose? You didn't invite us back for old time's sake. You four are going to reveal your greatest secret. The ancient Keyblade legacy that slumbers within you. Huh? Hmm? <gasps> hmm. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Because we get to be pirates again. Yep, you always did like this world. How could anyone not? Still, it's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship. Got any idea where we're going? Where else? The edge of the world! Captain Sora! Oh? <sighs> what ails ya, Mr. Goofy? The edge of the world! Aye! We're running out of sea, sir! Aye! We're running out of sea! <laughs> oh? Running out? Hard to starboard! But there's no time, Captain! We end up this time.
We've been walking forever. I'm exhausted. Some pirates? We won't get anywhere without a ship. Hmm? A ship? This is Crab Oh boy! It, it is, is a ship! <laughs> Sora? Huh? Oh, Jack Sparrow! <sighs> Captain Jack Sparrow. Sure is. <laughs> hey, Jack, where are we? Oh. Belay that ship absconding! Huh? Help me catch the pearl before she gets away! <laughs> aye aye, Captain. Gibbs! Aye, Captain. I thought so. I expect you're able to account for your actions then. Sir? There's been a perpetual and virulent lack of discipline upon my vessel. Why? Sir, you're... You're in Davy Jones' locker, Captain. Hmm? Davy Jones' locker? I know that. I know where I am. And don't think I don't. I'm in Davy Jones' locker. Assuredly. Oh, Jack Sparrow. <gasps> Barbosa! Oh. Ah, Hector! It's been too long, hasn't it? Aye, Illa de Muerta, remember? You shot me. Hmm? Uh, no, I didn't. Sora, we meet again. Hmm? It's lovely to see you all. Oh, Will! Elizabeth! Is... something about you different? Yeah, you look all swashbuckly. Well, I've seen some adventures. But I never thought I'd find you here. Speaking of, where exactly is here? What's all this about a locker? Davy Jones' locker. Jack neglected to repay a certain debt to Jones. So Joan sent the Kraken to devour Jack. And that's how he ended up here. Uh. Then... Davy Jones' locker... You're saying that we've gone beyond... Beyond the grave? Mm. And we're here to rest Jack from his fate. Hmm? Teodorma. Out and about, eh? You had an agreeable sense of the macabre to any delirium. <laughs> he thinks we're a hallucination. <laughs> Complete with these three masqueraders. Jack, this is real. We're here. We've come to rescue you. Huh? 
Have you now? That's very kind of you. But it would seem that as I possess a ship and you don't, you're the ones in need of rescuing. And I'm not sure as I'm in the mood. Jack! Cutler Beckett has the heart of Davy Jones. He controls the Flying Dutchman. He's taking over the seas. And he must be stopped. The Brethren cart is cowed. Leave you people alone for just a minute and look what happens. Everything's gone to pot. Hmm? I'm lost. What's going on? Well, um, sounds to me like this Beckett fella they mentioned is trying to conquer the ocean. Oh. They say that that's the Legend Rider. Yeah, no conquerors. Yeah. Listen, Jack, the world needs you back something fierce. And you need a crew. Why should I sail with any of you? Four of you have tried to annihilate me. Jack, we're on your side. Uh, so you are, mates. I never could have caught the pill without you. Sora, Donald, Goofy, you're hired. Yes. Now, as for the rest of you... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See you, You're in. Gibbs, you can come. Hey, <laughs> hey. We anchor all hands. Prepare to make sail. Jack. Which way you going, Jack? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right then. Mr. Sora, the helm is yours, provided no. you oh. pass muster. Huh? See that island there with the two peaks? Prove you can reach that, and the open sea is yours. Oh. <laughs> aye, aye. So, we do have a destination, right? Oh, I can't tell anymore. Trap is just making it up. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Cast your fate with Jack Sparrow. And you'll soon be sharing in the wrath of Davy Jones. The guy Will mentioned? Who does he think he is, anyway? And what did Jack ever do to him? Truly, you don't know who Davy Jones be. And you'll say you be men of the sea. D um, let's put it this way. We're from another sea. Hmm. I you now? Jack and David Jones' fate be intertwined. Jones, him raise Jack's precious pearl from the depths and make Jack captain for 13 years. In exchange, Jack promised to give Jones him soul as payment. But 13 years pass. And Jack failed to return. <laughs> So Jones, him seen the Kraken to devour Jack, taking him and the Pearl back to the depths. But if Jones learn that witty Jack cheat that fate, him gonna punish Jack even worse. And Jack's friends too. <laughs> Are you uh, talking about us? You mean that the Kraken's gonna eat us? Uh, let the Kraken have a crack. I ain't scared. Hmm, not scared at all. That be rare. Most men, dim run for land at the mention of the Kraken. Not you. But Jack be scared. He want to be free of his debt to Davy Jones. That's why him need the box. Box? Oh, it be a chest where David Jones lock away the part of him that hurt. 
the pain it caused him was too much to live with, but not enough to cause him to die. Oh. And what part of him is that? <laughs> him hard. How does he do it? A creature absent a heart, and yet somehow able to keep existing. Not even my finest replica can claim that achievement. The secret must be in that box. I have to know what mysteries it contains. I believe our orders were to find the box and seize it. No more. Put a leash on that runaway curiosity. Always so short-sighted. Why would the organization seek me out just as soon as I was re-completed, if not to affirm my intellectual prowess and invest in my research? Every stride I make is a stride for all of us. Oh, really? And what exactly are we striding towards? Hmm? Luxord. Do I detect a hint of treachery in your words? What? Don't be absurd. But to be clear, I serve the organization. I don't share your need to please Xemnas. He's good at wrapping you around his little finger. Always has been. Hmm. All I desire is the freedom to continue my research. Ansem the Wise refused to nurture my talents, so I cast my lot with Xemnas. With Xehanort, rather. Simple as that. I see. And you don't care how he uses your research? Not in the slightest. All that concerns me is that I complete the perfect human vessel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all well and good, but I know this world better than you. Kindly stay out of the way. Oh, of course. Considering those pests have shown up, I'd hardly get anything done. I already know what to do with the pests. Then you can resume your stuffy studies. Ah, huh. that's my boy. I'll be watching from the shadows, then. Jack, you could have warned us. Yeah, everything went topsy turvy and upsy downsy. Well, at least we're back in the land of the living. Never fear, all according to plan. But that be no reason to rest easy. Huh? A ship! I've never seen one like that. <gasps> Heartless! Look out! Barbosa! <laughs> Have you allied with those fiends again? Don't impugn me, Honor. Why would I conspire with them? But you did conspire with them. Could you discuss it later? Oh. Huh? <laughs> Get ready! Oh. Hmm. 
I sure do wish we could get a little closer. What? What are you? We can't do that. <gasps> we can! Zoro! <laughs> Donald and Goofy, protect the ship! I'll handle the Heartless! Take this! All right! Huh? Wait! Oh, no! Sorry! Sora? Sora! <laughs> Donald? Goofy? <sighs> Where are the others? After you fell, we came looking for you. I guess they must have kept going. That's the lesson. Oh. And I was so happy that we got to see them again. That's eager to sail under Captain Jack Sparrow. Who? Huh? Jack! Jack! Perhaps you'll consider an arrangement. One which requires nothing from you but information. Regarding the Brethren Court, no doubt. In exchange for fair compensation, square my debt with giants, guarantee my freedom. Of course. It's just good business. Were I in a divulgatory mood, what then might I divulge? Everything. Where are they meeting? What are their plans? Shall we? Shall we what? Some pirate won't get anywhere without a ship. So, let's go get one. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sora and Jack sure are cut from the same cloth. They even talk a lot. Use that key to free me, Sora, and you have my most certain promise. I'll the power under sea you ever wish for, Mia. Free her... how? Sora! What's wrong? Huh? Oh, nothing really. I'm good. Look! Something's glowing. That seems suspiciously convenient. I'll check it out. Sorry, this can be dangerous. But Donald, no pirate worth his salt ignores treasure. Huh? 
It's our very own ship! Are you certain about that? Huh? What? Jack? Find us, keep us. How'd he get here so fast? Mine. Sammy? Yes, Sammy! Jack, you already have the Black Pearl! Aye, to which this ship holds no candle. Bus, take what you can, mate. Now then, my ship has a captain. But it does appear I'm in need of a crew. Suppose you'll have to do. Don't dawdle. Climb aboard. Um... Ready now, helmsman? Ready enough, Captain, but aren't we kind of trapped? Hmm? Now, Sora. I know you've made passage through straits far more dire than this. Just follow your heart's command. <gasps> hmm. Ship. It's the Hagris. Oh, but look, this time there's somebody aboard. Isn't that not the merry company I'd hoped for? Holly, a black coat. Of course. You back in the organization? Yes. Surprising, isn't it, that they do me the honor? Never count your cards until they've all been dealt. Jack, don't you give this creep the time of day. <coughs> Come now. Are you really so unsophisticated that you decline a gentlemanly conversation? What'd you say? Sora, uh stand down. It's the code. Mustn't strike a pirate aboard ship. When said pirate offers to confabulate. Ah, yes. And how could I love games and contests without honoring the rules? Because only by winning fairly does victory have any savor at all. But, of course, the code is actually more guidelines than rules. Speak your piece. Hmm. I am looking for a box. A chest, perhaps. Mm. You know the one. Yes. Maybe. No, I know of a box. But said box is not a box you want to trifle with, mate. Trust me. Really? A wager, then. And of what nature would this wager be? What say we have a little race to that charming port town which you hold so dear? Port Royal. Yes. Whoever reaches it first is the victor. And the stakes? You tell me all about that chest. Against what? I will get you whatever it is you want. Hmm. Hmm. Done. Jack? Then we have an accord. Now. Let us begin! All hands! Prepare to make sail! But, Jack! Drop canvas! Hey, Jack! With a will, lads! Jack, listen! Watch! Oh. 
you can't let him get his hands on that box. Do you really know whatever it is that he's looking for? Let's just say there's a potential possibility he wants the chest containing Davy Jones' heart. Does I have the foggiest notion why he'd covet the blighted thing? Is it a black box? It is more black than blue, so yes. Hmm. Do you think it's the one? Can be. And when in the race would keep it out of Organization 13's hands? Hey. <laughs> You're right! What are you three muttering on about? Basically, we need to win this race! Precisely. No purchase, no pay. You might have the makings of a pirate after all. <laughs> yeah! Lookouts, report! Starboard side, all clear! We got this one in the bag. The game isn't over until it's over. Magnificent. I salute you all, gentlemen. Mm, you're up to something. I love it! Perish the thought. I know when I've been outdone. You were outdone before you even started, mate. But I admire your conciliatory way of conceding defeat. Ah. Yes. Now, I believe I owe you your prize, but I neglected to ask what it is that you want. Perhaps you'll enlighten me. <laughs> Aye, that's easy. I want the chest that's aboard the Dutchman. No, Jack! Don't tell him! Hmm? Really? Uh. Not good. Huh? Oh, Jack! Well, I didn't tell him which, Dutchman. You cracked him! Actually, I outwitted him. You knew he'd tell you where it was! <laughs> I've always been far more interested in the long game. Now let's see where it takes us. That is, if you stay a pace. After him! Nay. There's no point. Why not? The ship's listing near to scuppers from that cannon fire. She'll be needing repairs. Best make berth at Port Royal. What? Look for crabs. They all set her right. Crabs? Why crabs? Never mind the particulars, mate. The white crabs. Savvy? Mm. Aye, aye.
Aye, that's all of them. Now, to my final task. Be back in a trice. Oh. There, mates. Fit to sail any sea. Now, Sora, one final inquiry. Is there any particular reason you wanted this ship? Mm. Mm. Yeah. To explore the seas. Free as the wind. Good answer. You are a pirate, Captain Sora. <laughs> but Jack, why do you keep saying final? Like you're leaving. Ah, it's because this me has run his course, mate. This you? I the surrogate me that the goddess of the sea sent here to help you lot. Of course, any me is still me. I may be duplicatable, but I'm always incomparable. The sea, she smiles upon us, Sora. Well, let's leave it at that, shall we? For now, the real me has a crucial engagement. At Shipwreck Cove, where the pirate brethren will meet Beckett and his lot in battle to win back our freedom. Then let us help. No, it's for pirates to resolve, but not you, Sora. You're as free as the wind now, and far you'll go. Oh. So, Jack was showing us the way. Even if you did get cracked. Jack, he said it was the pirates' battle to fight. <laughs> but a fight for pirates <laughs> is a fight for us! Come on, let's find the real Jack. You made a deal with me, Jack, to deliver the pirates. And here they are. Don't be bashful. Step up. Claim your reward. <coughs> Sparrow! Your debt to me is still to be satisfied. One hundred years in servitude aboard the Dutchman. As a start. That debt was paid, mate. You escaped! I propose an exchange. Mm hmm? Will leaves with us. And you can take Jack. Hmm? Hmm? Done. Undone. Done. Jack's one of the nine pirate lords. You have no right. King! Hmm. As you command, your nips. Scurvy blackguard! Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Easy there, mate. You wouldn't want to damage the leverage now, would you? Hmm. Now. <laughs> A 
advise your brethren. You can fight, and all of you will die, or you cannot fight, in which case only most of you will die. We will fight, and you will die. Third. Ah, you do know how to make good time. Yes, one must simply marvel at your celerity. But such compulsive behavior is eventually going to bring you nothing but sorrow. Lost him again! How are we gonna go after him? Fast, those Right! <sighs> He's plotting to swipe the chest in the heat of battle! To Shipwreck Cove! Fast! Hmm. Are you okay? Sora... You're a welcome sight! We've all been quite worried about you. Huh? Isn't that... Sora? Where's Jack? And Tia Dalma? <sighs> I'm afraid you've missed a few things while you've been gone. Jack... He's... he's been taken by Cutler Beckett. Yes. And Beckett commands Davy Jones and the Flying Dutchman. Oh... Barbosa thought we could defeat them if we released Calypso, the Goddess of the Sea, who was really Teodalma, bound in human form. But it didn't work. I... A fickle goddess, Calypso B. So what now? Nothing. Our final hope has failed us. Use that key to free me, Sora, and you have my most certain promise. I'll the power under sea you ever wish for be yours. So. Tia Dalma was Calypso. She's the one who was helping us. And you know what? I think... that she might just be able to help us again. You can't give up now. We can all fight. Together. The sea belongs to everyone. Uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> hmm? I said that! Don't copy my expressions! Huh? You did? Sometimes it just goes in one ear and right out the other. Wait, really? Yes! It's not over. There's still hope for us. You will listen to me. Listen!
The brethren will still be looking here to us, to the Black Pearl to lead. And they will see free men and freedom. Our enemy will see the flash of our cannons and hear the ring of our swords. And they will see the courage of our hearts as we succeed and they fail. Gentlemen, hoist the colors. Hoist the colors! Hoist the colors! I knew it was you! So that's the Flying Dutchman. The chest Jack told you about has the heart of Davy Jones in it. There's no way it's the chest that you're looking for. <laughs> no one knows what's in the chest we're looking for. If it's a black box, then we are to collect it. Simple as that. You don't know what's in it? Then why do you need it? How will you know you found it? <laughs> Got me. Regrettably, the higher-ups haven't deigned to tell us. But they did say the box contains hope. Huh? huh. That's all you'll get from me. Hmm. It's far too chaotic to find the box like this. Perhaps I'll remove that ship from the picture. They're looking for hope? <coughs> Will and the others need us. Yeah, I know. So, you got what you want. Perhaps you're the better player among us. However, I must demand you give that to me. Cousin? You must be mistaken, mate. I'll not be giving you anything. <laughs> then I invoke the right of parley. Uh, no. No parley. Look around. We're a little busy. And besides, I've already got all that I want, mate. Still works. <laughs> Giant spider. Are you lost? Prisoners don't belong on deck. Your station is in the brig! <laughs> We're here! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Tables have turned, mate. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> Just a few more nuggets to join my crew! <laughs> Care to surrender? The chest! Hand it over! Jack! Stay out of this, boy! Whoa! From me. That's why I brought this. <laughs> Mister, did you forget? Huh? I'm a harmless wretch. <laughs> And yet, so easily said. That's not true. I may still have a lot to learn about love, but I know what it means to share my heart with others. And it will take more than you to break a bond like that. <laughs> what does a whelp like you know about the heart? A whelp? <laughs> has seen far more of the world than you know. What of it? Tell me, William Tana. Do you fear death? Do you? How disappointing. So this is all they meant when they said heart. We've been chasing the wrong box this whole time! Petty tonic! Holding life and death in the palm of one's hand? You're a cruel man, Jack Sparrow. Cruel is a matter of perspective. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Save him? Part of the ship, part of the crew. The Dutchman must have a captain. Oh. Elizabeth, 
say goodbye. Thank goodness, Jack. The Armada's still out there. The Endeavor's coming up hard to starboard. And I think it's time we embrace that oldest and noblest of pirate traditions. Never actually been one for tradition. In we go! Hmm. Huh. It's nothing personal, Jack. It's just good business. Flying Dutchman must have a captain. Just where Denouchi and Captain Turner must live in different worlds. One day ashore, ten years at sea. It's a steep price. Well... Your chariot awaits, Your Highness. Mrs. Turner. I'm not the boss. Take care. Jack. Hmm. Thank you. One day isn't enough time. Well, there's always enough time for hearts to say what's true. Sora, you know better than anyone. It only takes a moment <laughs> to connect with your mates. With your hearties. Hmm. There's always enough time. And I'm going to find them.
Axel? Huh? Hey, liking the look. <laughs> Cut your hair, too. Mm hmm. So, you gonna try yours on? Uh, I don't know. Maybe later. But you always wear the same thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is how you pick me out of a crowd. I make myself easy to remember. How thoughtful. Huh? Oh, nah, not really. <laughs> Our training's almost finished. Yeah. Somewhere inside me is Naminé. If we can free Roxas, we can free her too. I guess so. Naminé was made when Sora freed me from his heart. So, now that she's a part of me again, I figured all was right. But she can't look at this forest. Feel the wind on her face. None of it. And if she could, it would be different for her. Her time was short. But she lived it, and that makes it hers. What right did I have to take those feelings and experiences back? They don't belong to me. Nothing's as it should be. Not for her or Roxas. I know. Way back when I was a kid, I met this other weird kid. Somehow we became fast friends. Never saw him again, nearly forgot about him too. Then I met Roxas. Couldn't believe it. The two of them were identical. Oh, I didn't tell Roxas. Didn't want him to go vanishing on me too. The kid's name was Ventus. He's one of the lost Keyblade wielders we're looking for. Think he's still got me memorized? Oh yeah, very memorized. <laughs> now that we're going back, I'm worried about everything. Well, you don't have to worry alone anymore, Axel. It's about time! Uh, hey, uh, shut uh, it! Uh, oh, come on! What now? Please, I have created enough victims. 
Yes, you have. All of the children sacrificed in the name of your research. So make things right. I told you I did not take her. Her disappearance was why I put a stop to the research. And that makes you honorable? You used Roxas and Namine and threw them away. I doubt there's a merciful bone in your body. You took the girl and hid her. Now show me the data you are hiding here. Roxas and Namine. If there is any reason that I still draw breath, it is to atone for what I did to them. <gasps> he said Roxas. Yeah. That man needs us. Right. Yeah. If you do find the girl, what is it that you expect will happen? The child's memory holds a mystery to unravel. One concerning the battle we seek between light and darkness. You know something, and that is why you stopped the experiments. You are completely deluded, Xehanort. We shall soon see. <laughs> yoo <-hoo! laughs> uh. Excuse me! Who are you? Oh, well, I'm looking for a friend who used to live here. No one lives mm. here. Be gone! Um, but, sir... No, 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 not one more step! Get out! Uh, this <laughs> way! Oh. <laughs> hey, loser! Painter! Uh, 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 <gasps> the squiggly uh. things? Protected me. Uh, Hainer, get a move on. Oh, okay. I serve the organization. This is treason. <laughs> I see what is happening. Have it your way then. Think. <sighs> Nobody knows the twists and turns of Twilight Town better than us. You are Roxas's friends. That's right. So you know him too? Oh yes, quite well. Pay dirt. Guess it was worth staking out the old mansion after all, because this guy here is what I call a lead. That's the only proof we have that Roxas was our friend. Tell us about him. We want to know him better. My dear master, <coughs> you are safe. Who's there? Evan, is that you? So, those nobodies were your doing. I have been waiting for this. Gave up a normal life in order to plant myself in the organization. 
And when I heard Xehanort had gone looking for you, I realized it was my chance to find you as well. For you see, I too wish to atone. Mm. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, cool! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, but I want to take a look at the big city! Yeah, it does seem pretty exciting. I feel so metropolitan. Uh, cosmopolitan? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta tell Riku what a blast this place is. But we just got here. We haven't even done anything yet. Blast? I'm sure a blast. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, heartless. Come on. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> Go, go! Are you okay? Huh? What in... Go, go! <sighs> Baymax! Go-Go's suit has shielded her from a major injury, but the blow she sustained to her head has caused a mild concussion. We should take caution and not move her until we can fully stabilize her head. Got it. Oh, cool! Hmm? That's a robot! Hello. I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. Oh! <laughs> wow! Cool! This rules! Uh, Sora, remember our other problem? <laughs> Whoops! Oh, yeah! Hey! Who are you? Oh! <laughs> I'm Sora. And I'm Goofy! <laughs> Name's Hero. You mind helping us fight those things? Huh? Our team's called Big Hero 6. <laughs> sure! Not cool. People like spectacle, not truth. Yeah, who needs quality reporting when you can just make stuff up? I don't get it. I mean, didn't they see how awesome we were? Sure, those things landed a couple of good hits, but we had chem balls and laser hands and fire breathing! Well, it really didn't matter. They beat us. Where'd they come from? Well... Why don't we ask the guys who actually stopped him? <laughs> Hiro, you never introduced us. Oh, uh, right. Well, uh, this is the gang. <laughs> That's Gogo. -Go. Mm. He's Wasabi. How you doing? That's Honey Lemon. Hello there. What? I'm Fred. <sighs> don't be alarmed. This is not my real body. Good. For a second, I thought this was the monster. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, those three are Sora, <gasps> Donald, and Goofy. Huh? The, uh... Keyblade Hero 3! I am detecting minute contractions in your faces and shoulders, perhaps due to the garage's brisk temperature. To remedy that, I will give each of you a hug and warm you with my internal heat source. Oh, why did you say that? Sora, you know Donald and I don't have key blades. So? 
Are we heroes or aren't we? Not here, we're not. The monsters. Tell us how you managed to take them down. Hmm. They're called the Heartless, and they're drawn to the darkness inside people's hearts. Ooh, now we're mm. talking. Light versus darkness. Classic conflict. Would you calm down, Fred? What? This is serious. Very serious. We don't have any way to fight them. Wait, so we're just gonna give up? With our current skill set, my analysis places our chances at 0. 0.0000. Yep. We get it, Baymax. <sighs> hey, don't sweat it. The three of us will go take care of the Heartless for you. Right? Donald? Goofy? Mm -hmm. uh. Wait. Oh. We're going to. It's okay. We got it. Mm -mm. We have to help. My brother would have. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Great, hmm? but don't we need a plan? We train up. When heroes are brought low, they get new powers. It's Shugyo time. Did you read that in Geeks Quarterly? Fred's actually not wrong. I may have an idea. AR device? Yeah. Cool, huh? It creates a CG overlay that augments your vision. While you wear it, uh, this device sees everything you do and logs it. Uh, huh? You put it on your face. <sighs> Heartless! <gasps> Donald! Oh, huh? Goofy! Huh? Are you okay? <gasps> There's no Heartless <gasps> here! Huh? But... Uh, Whoa! Chill, Sora. Just take the AR device off. Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh. Wow! I have no idea how you're doing it, but this is cool! Thanks. <laughs> but so far the map data only covers San Francisco. I need to expand it. Now can we shoot you? Not yet, Fred. He's still learning. Sora, all you need to do is run through some courses that Hero scripted. Like a minigame. We'll put a tracer on your movements, so we can... Shoo-gyo! 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 So we can shoo-gyo. Shoo-gyo! I guess shoo-gyo's like training. That's a good idea. We could probably use the practice. Speak for yourself! I can shoo-gyo by installing new combat data. Huh? Hey! Huh? Let's just try it out. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, go through the rings and head for the goal. Okay! okay. I'll be here to help you out remotely. Interesting. Gravity. Not binding. Hey, wait! My laser hands can be projectiles! The weapon changed the attack. 
A freeze attack! Fire and ice diametrically oppose. Or so we thought! <sighs> oh. Thanks, Sora. That should be enough data. And I think you sparked some new ideas. Yeah. I think there's a way to try this with my That should do it. We interrupt your scheduled huh? program to deliver this breaking news. Moments ago, the city's South District was attacked by numerous <sighs> unidentified creatures. Witnesses described losing sight of victims during the mayhem. Many also said they saw strange floating heart symbols in the vicinity of the missing victims. City police are urging citizens to stay at home. For those just joining us, only minutes ago, the South District was attacked by... <laughs> Hmm. Go time! Yes! <laughs> oh! Sora, above you! I'm picking up some kind of threat. Okay! I'll check it out. There! Back at you! Yeah! Yeah! So long!
Try and catch me. I can't see! <laughs> huh? Better? Much better! Max? Huh? What? Now we fist bump. Fist bump? To display excitement, Hero taught it to me. So, like this? Ba la 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 we're here! Uh, can't we pick on one our own size? It looks the right size to me. Watch me scorch him with my freeze NATO! The only tornado made of ice and fire. You took down the wrong top magician! And the wrong captain of the guard! Prepare to face Keyblade Hero 3! Oh, come on! And the crime fighting team? of Big Hero 6. Together, we're unstoppable. Yes! yes! Was that awesome? Or was that totally awesome? Ha ah ha! Jumping! Yeah, I was pretty good! Your magic is amazing. Do you think I could study it sometime? Why not? You just made Donald's day. <laughs> My brother wanted to help people. Now we try to do the same. Your brother? Yeah, Tadashi. There was a fire and now he's gone. But he always wanted to make a difference. He cared about people. That's why he worked so hard to create Baymax. I'm sorry. He's still here. In Baymax. In all of us. Tadashi, he lives on in your hearts. Huh? Yeah, right. He will always be a part of us, in some way. And when you're not strong enough, he'll make up the difference. Oh. 
Sora, you okay? Uh, yeah, fine. Oh. <sighs> I'm with you. We got this. Time for a lesson. Charge! <laughs> Wait, uh, guys, uh, that one's not like the others. It can't be. Microbots? Microbots? Huh? You know what they are? Well, they're different from Heartless. Mm -hmm. Microbots are designed to do whatever you think via a neurotransmitter that communicates what you're... Huh? Mm. They're uh, kind of a mini-bot I invented. Some bad stuff happened and I thought that meant they were totally gone. But those enemies are way too similar. Which means someone's controlling them. The question is, who? Huh. Could it be? Oh. Mm. I'm gonna go back to the garage and look into it some more. You mind going after him? Yeah, sure! Of course. We need you on the sciencey stuff. <laughs> hey, Max. Stick with them. All right, hero. Sora, Donald, Goofy, I will be your personal healthcare companion. Oh. Uh, thanks, Baymax. We're in good hands. Come on, let's move. It's no fair. Why can't we hurt it? Magic is no good. What do we do? <laughs> this is weird. <gasps> Sora, are you guys all right? Oh, yeah, but the target escaped. Have you got any leads? Tons. Somewhere inside that thing, there is a core. It's what powers the whole cluster. The core is the only way to hurt it. <sighs> now he tells us. <sighs> Wasabi, what happened? Oh. Let's just say it's a handful. <gasps> Team, check in. So far, so good. Guys, I am really tired of just dodging this thing. Freddy getting frustrated. Guys, <clears throat> I'm on my way. <clears throat> No, Hiro! Hiro, you analyzed the dark cubes! Wait, did you just say dark cubes? Yeah, they're dark, they're cubes. I call them like I see them. Every bad baddie needs a cool name. Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> We'll gather as much data from the dark cubes as we can. Hero, figure out a way for us to beat this thing! Huh? But guys, I can't leave you out there all alone. Hero, we are a team. A team delegate. You at the garage. <sighs> we trust you, so you trust us. Mm. Fine. 
I'll look for a way that we can expose the Dark Cube's core. <sighs> and just keep that data coming. Copy! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hero? What should we do? Uh, you protect the others. I'll mark their position for you on your AR display. We got it! Time to go, Baymax! All right. Okay, there's a lot of them. What do you suppose they'll do? I don't think we want to find out. I say, we destroy this thing! <sighs> but without a strategy, we'd just be wasting our strength. If we knew where to strike... Sora, I huh? got it. I'm sending you an AR software update. It'll show you where the core is. It's the Dark Cube's weak point. I'm coming to help. Uh, huh? That's weird. Is it busted? Hero, who's that on the display? That's not the display. He's really here. Huh? The black coat. He's back? Are you done messing around? What? Wait. That voice. Hold on. You know this guy? And now, enter the supervillain. He definitely has the vibe. Funny. Riku, but... As if this stupid experiment wasn't already a hassle. Huh? Oh? Where'd he get that? Hero, do you recognize it? Yeah. Not quite ready. That's the first chip I made for Baymax. It's full of combat programs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Programs? Yeah, they tell Baymax how to react. Does that mean it's like his heart? Programs. More than. Riku! <laughs> 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 I got it! Baymax. Uh, uh. <sighs> oh, this isn't for you. Uh. At least, not until we're done. <sighs> Riku! Is it you? Why do you look like that? Looks are deceiving, but the heart? You know that it's me. I know Riku wouldn't do this, not without a good reason. <laughs> a reason? When did that ever matter? We've been trying to one-up each other since we were kids. What? The coat means he's with Organization 13. And that means he's not really Riku. Smarter than you look. We defeated Ansem and Xehanort, every last one of them. But still, they all came back anyway, right? So, maybe this Riku came back too, from the time when Ansem possessed him. Yeah, from the past! 
What? How? Unlike a certain wizard you know, I had to play by the rules to travel through time, which meant leaving my body behind. Huh? I know about this. But you have a body. <laughs> Xehanort's heart left his body in order to voyage back through time. He needed to tell his younger self of the great plans he had in store. There in the past, his heart stayed and waited out the years until you and I came along. Xehanort's heart possessed me and became Ansem, the first adversary you faced. The rest of him, the piece he left behind, took the name Xemnas and created the first organization. It was all a part of a larger plan to bring Xehanort into contact with the right hearts, enough of them to form the real Organization 13. They could come from anywhere, any when, just as long as he had the right vessels at hand to place their hearts in. Vessels? Replicas! That's right. The replica program was a success. We are as real as people. Then pack up and leave! What are you still doing here? To see if we can recreate a heart from data. What? Sorry. <laughs> Did we steal your idea? That walking balloon over there has a heart. At least that's the nonsense I'm supposed to believe. There are hearts all around us. You only have to see them for them to become real. Where'd you get that? That's my chip. I, I made it. Oh, well, I'm sorry about that. But I promise I'll put it right back where I found it. What do you mean? I think I'll be getting back to work now. Wait! No! <sighs> we gotta stop him. Guys! Huh? <sighs> you are all suffering from acute exhaustion. I recommend rest. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Let's regroup. Come on, guys! What's with all the long faces? Did you forget that we won? Fred, not now. Huh? <sighs> His name is Riku? And you know him? Yeah. Well, I know a him. What the one is a folk? The fake ones with Organization 13, our arch nemones. Okay, but how'd he get Hero's chip? And what did he mean about an experiment? And what do they want? He said they're trying to recreate a heart from data. But I don't know what they really want. None of us do. These guys, they show up... And instead of fighting fair and square, they go for the heart and say things to try and get under your skin. They're cowards. And now they're doing it to you, too. It's our fault. No, this could be good. That chip might finally be able to give me some answers. You said that you made it, right? Yeah. This Baymax, he's actually the second model. Uh, no offense. I am a robot. I cannot be offended. <laughs> it's a long story, but the first Baymax and the chip I made vanished into another dimension along with the microbots. The chip's back. So the first Baymax might be back too. Hiro... 
Those who suffer a loss require support from friends and loved ones. Oh, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, Team, let's come go. On. Hmm? What? Why are you snooping around? That would be none of your concern. Overstep and darkness will consume you again. Hmm. What an interesting thing to say. I shall do anything I please. As should you. <laughs> Oh, I intend to. Who's he? Friend of yours? Yes, though I could not tell you from when. Hope it's learned some new tricks. Yeah. Now it's got to face all of us. That's right. Freddy want to destroy! Our probability of success is... You don't have to crunch the numbers, Baymax. It's not the sum of our parts. It's the sum of our hearts. Yeah! <laughs> Which adds <sighs> up to what? <gasps> Show me. Almost there. What? <laughs> this pile of junk collected the data we needed. The terror of being attacked without warning. The despair of having no place to run. The longing for vengeance. A heart's more than that! It's working together! Why was it something funny? Trusting friends. In every heart, there's hope. Yeah. Yes. You're right. Huh? That's why I made sure our creation fought you. Now the data contains a complete heart. A heart made from conflict? That can't be what real. What was it you said? <clears throat> I only have to see it for it to become real. So... Let's see it. First, we need a vessel. What's going on? Another dark cube form? Doesn't look as bad as the last one. <laughs> it could be a trick. Usually is. <laughs> yeah. Wait. That's Baymax. What? Oh. Huh? No way. Uh. <gasps> B-Max. Don't bother. This puppet has lost his heart. He won't wake up. He's not a puppet! B-Max, he's like my family. Please, give me back, my friend. <laughs> yes. Huh? I did promise I'd put this back where I found it.
But there's one piece missing. Sora, you're the one who's going to complete this heart. Yeah, right! You can't have a heart without sadness, without loss. You see, you're going to destroy Hero's friend right in front of him. Wait! Uh, oh no! Uh, Hero! Hero! <laughs> Hero, tell us, what should we do? Baymax means everything to me, but that chip isn't who he is. I already made this mistake once before. Tadashi wouldn't want there to be a Baymax that hurts people. Sora? He has to be stopped. Okay. Help Gogo and the others. You can leave this guy to us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, ah! oh no! Sora, take Baymax. Okay, Baymax! I am ready, Sora. Hero. <laughs> so, did we stop him? Safety mode kicks in if he's put under too much stress. So, he's probably just in stasis. We'll have to destroy the chip if we want to be certain. But... Are you sure? Yeah, dude. You don't need to go that far. Maybe we can find another way. Mm -mm. It's the right thing to do. Tadashi would have done the same thing. <sighs> but Hiro, isn't that Baymax's heart? Mm. That's okay. Baymax is here. I should be the one. Ow? Hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. 
companion Somebody's calling us on the gummy phone. We got bad news. Oh. Uh -huh. we can ask? It's not like we can use that big old door anymore. It's completely gone. Yeah, we closed it after beating Ansem. And we certainly can't ask the king or Riku. Because you wouldn't let me ask. Only King Mickey can open a door to the realm of darkness. Huh? <laughs> it's because he has a special keyblade of darkness. He figured out how to make it open the way. <sighs> Gorge, what'll we do then? Uh, <sighs> May my heart be our guiding key. It'll show us the way. <sighs> okay. <laughs> but where does it lead? Hurry, Sora! Okay. Why do you think that gate took us here? A keyblade? A not so old. How did it end up here? Hmm, maybe it's another guiding key. Sure, but to guide us where? Not you guys. Uh -huh. The realm of darkness. It isn't safe for you. Forget it. I'm going. Yeah. You can't make a whole pint without us. Come on, guys. Think about it. Even the king and Riku struggled in the realm of darkness. Someone needs to stay out here just in case. If something happens to the rest of us, you two need to carry on. Sora, stop it! We understand, but we don't want you going someplace dangerous on your own. Thanks, guys, but I'll be fine. I'll make sure Riku and the King are safe. Trust me. Oh. Oh. You'll promise to be good. And come home nice and safe? Right. Riku, look! 
This Keyblade. Huh? Is it her? Mickey. You're too late. Aqua? What happened? You abandoned me. That's what. Left me in this shadow prison for more than a decade. Knowing what it would do to me. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I reached this shore after endless wandering. Waited forever for help to arrive. But no one ever came. I lost my Keyblade. Had no means of fighting my way back through the Heartless. You should have known I was stranded. Do you have any idea how lonely it is here? How frightening it is to have no one? All that's left in my heart is misery and despair. And now, you can share it. There's no need. Got my own.
a little help. Watch over the king. I've got this. Okay. This is the end. Aqua! Uh. Sora. Aqua. Uh, Van. Terra. Aqua. Aqua. It's you. Thank goodness. You're awake. Mickey. Uh. Are these... The Destiny Islands? That's right. When did they fall to darkness? <sighs> You're in the realm of light. You're home. <laughs> You're <Wow>. home. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> <sighs> we did it. <laughs> You dunks! But dude, why would you pick me? I cannot let the Chosen catch wind of this, understand? Oh, I see. It's because I got benched. I got benched too! What? Hey, <laughs> quiet! <clears throat> okay, man, look. Real talk, backstabbing those guys would be stupid. If they find out, we are yesterday's toast. I mean, what's in it for me? Forgiveness. Huh? For what? Men like us. In the pursuit of science, we sometimes make terrible mistakes. Lose sight of our mission to help people. 
But now I can help someone with my research. Now I can atone. Hmm. I'm not a scientist. Uh, wait, wait, wait! Uh, come on, dude. I'm useless. I'm chicken. We're not friends. I can count the number of times you and I have hung out on one hand. Less than one hand. I didn't even know you in the old life. Fine, fine. But listen. Huh? No way! It's true. The whole thing was his idea. Huh? No stinking way. He wants to atone too. But he is one of the Chosen, so his hands are tied. Hence my actions on his behalf. Hence my need for you to act on my behalf should all go awry. As you said, we are far from friends. No one would ever suspect you. Hmm. So I'm not doing any fighting. Correct. And more importantly, no bench warming. Hmm. Yeah, baby! Sign me up! Yes! Um. Demix time! We've come a long way toward reconstructing Roxas's heart. But a vessel, without that... <laughs> yeah, right. Bodies don't grow on trees, Ienzo. It's the backup plan or nothing now. But... The backup plan isn't a true solution. Yeah, finally! Hmm? About time! <gasps> hmm... <laughs> Ooh, nice place! Huh. Demix? Is huh? that you? Hey, Zexian! Long time! How's humanity treating ya? I rejoined the nobodies. But like, I just can't shake the feeling I've been sweet-talked, you know? We have so got to have a chat. Whoa! Back up. What? Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm actually here on a top-secret mission. Apparently, I'm so off everyone's radar that I'm just the guy to handle a special delivery. Ta-da! <sighs> Master Ansem! Ah, well met, little Ianzo. <sighs> They told me you'd gone mad. That you abandoned us. I was just a boy. But I should have known better. I am truly, deeply sorry. I think what matters is that you recognize the mistake. Peace, Ianza. It was I who was consumed by hatred, who failed you in my obligations as your mentor. Forgive me. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, are we cool to get on with things here? Oh. Got you a present from Vexen. One was all he could manage for the time being, but hey, he figured you guys would know what to do with it. A vessel! You sure about this, Aqua? If you want, we can take you back to Master Yen Sid's tower to rest with Riku and the King. <laughs> Thank you. But Fen's expecting me. I promised to wake him. Said I'd be right back, but I'm not even close. I'm in for an earful.
Sorry it took so long. Fen, wake up. Open your eyes. Please! Why? Your heart never found its way home? That was a neat trick. Huh? No wonder oh. no one could find him. Vanitas! Why are you here? Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt your touching reunion. But surely you won't begrudge me a moment with my brother. <laughs> what? So Venti Wenti wants to keep sleeping. What am I ever going to do with you? Shut up! You better settle down there, master! Aqua! I'll handle him! No. I'm ending this. But... you haven't recovered yet! Sorry. But you've seen me too weak, too often. Now it's my turn to shine.
have to wake up. Yes. Tell me what to do. The power of waking. I can't. I still don't have it yet. You never lost it. It sleeps. Until someone needs it. Call to it. I am calling. With all my heart. Thank you for always keeping me safe, Sora. Three guardians is more than I care to face. But now <laughs> that my brother is awake, I'm just certain that he'll come to visit. <laughs> Aqua, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine, Sora. <laughs> Huh? You're Sora? Yep. Hey, Ventus. I get it. You were my second chance. Huh? Uh, <laughs> Call me Ven. Good morning, Ven. Good morning, Aqua. Mm. At last, we are all assembled. First, Sora, Riku, Donald, Goofy, Mickey. I cannot thank you enough for what you have done. <sighs> and you, Aqua and Ventus, we are fortunate to have you back. Thanks. 
I only wish we could have returned to help sooner. We're grateful to all of you for rescuing us. Thank you. I feel bad for letting you guys down. We tried, but we still haven't found Terra. Don't. He studied with Master Ericus, just like us. He's our responsibility. Hmm. Mickey told me that you saved me in the Realm of Darkness. I should have gone to help you right away. But I was too inexperienced. I'm sorry. I know that I let you down. No. Just the opposite. Did you know Riku's a true Keyblade Master now? That's wonderful. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, rub it in. <laughs> I'm happy to see that you haven't changed one bit. Huh? Sora, you probably don't remember. Um... Uh... It's okay. <sighs> Ah, yes. Let us not forget our new Keyblade wielders. Lee, Kairi, you have made tremendous strides. Hey there. And that's future Keyblade Master. Kairi! <gasps> Incredible. It is you. Huh? You know her? When you and I first met in Radiant Garden, the Unversed tried to attack a little girl. Do you remember? Oh gosh, that little girl was Kyrie? <sighs> I guess it must have worked. The spell that I cast on you. I'm sorry. Those days are hazy for me. But it sounds like I'd have been in trouble without you. So thank you. Please. You were really very little. Anyone would forget. Hazy memory or not. <clears throat> this is all very touching, guys. But where do I fit in? Ven looks just like Roxas. Or is it Roxas looks just like Ven? And now I have to explain all of that to him, which is in itself a crazy long story. And apparently everybody already knows everyone, and this is an insane amount to get memorized. Sorry, Lee. <gasps> you remember me? Yeah, of course. We're friends. I can't believe you became a Keyblade wielder just like me. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Axel, you know Ven? Axel? Who's Axel? See, see, see? Major Brain Ache. Uh, yeah. <sighs> huh? Now who? Not to worry, folks. To help us out, I've given each of you a gummy phone. They've got summaries of everything that's happened so far. That way, you can read up, if you'd like. And if anyone has any questions, we can call each other. He's always prepared. Mm-hmm. Well, we've got our seven guardians. Yeah. But I do wish that Roxas and Naminé and Terra could be here with us, too. Since when do you mope, Sora? Come on. Terra's got to be with the organization, which means we'll have a chance to save him. Leave it to Ven and I. We'll bring him home. Yeah. I made Terra a promise. I said I'd be there for him when he needs me. And I'll figure Roxas out. Don't know how, but I'll get him back. 
Namine is right here safe with me. I know that we'll find a way to help her. Trust me. I'm not giving up. Kyrie's right. We're all in this together, Sora. And Donald and I are no Keyblade wielders. But we'll always be right there to help keep you steady. We got your back, not just now, but always. That again. <laughs> 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 it's a shame that all of our friends could not be here. But our seven guardians of light have united. Perhaps you might say that we have nine guardians with Donald and Goofy. Given time, I know the others will soon stand with us. Yeah. Today you recuperate. On the morrow, you journey. To the fated place. Right. Oh, yeah. The stars here are so beautiful. I noticed it when we arrived. Yes. We've gone without this for so long. I know. I remember dreaming a lot. Of you and Terra. Of Sora and his friends too, I think. And there were some more people I didn't recognize. Oh, and <laughs> I saw these weird animal creatures. It's like I've been part of some big adventure. <laughs> I've been places too. But pretty soon, things will be back to normal. Let's share stories when Tara's back. <laughs> yeah. I've had it with this stupid treasure hunt. Every box we've found has been nothing but a bust. I agree. Our search ends today. What a huh now? You cannot find the unfindable. The box does not exist. I knew they was taking us for a ride. Silence, imbecile. I mean, the box does not exist now. Is that some kind of riddle? Just where are we supposed to be looking? Light and darkness are fated to clash. A Keyblade War is upon us. We need only wait for that destined moment. No matter the victors, the box will be revealed. That's it? But when's my big moment? You will have it soon enough. Once I possess the box, our real work can begin. Well, Roxas, I should have been there for you by now, but here we are.
Shouldn't you say goodbye to your real home? I'm not here to fight. Relax. Oh. Hey! You can't eat all this. Why did you buy three of them? One for Roxas? And two for good luck? I don't know. Because I felt like it, okay? Why are you here? Got it memorized? Back when we were still friends, we used to sneak into the castle. Yeah. And we made a friend there, a girl. We apprenticed to Ansem the Wise to rescue her. Yeah, and we failed. One day she was just gone. You gave up. <sighs> I did not give up. One day we're apprentices. The next, Ansem the Wise is up and vanished. The day after, we're nobodies. Day after that, we're doing icky jobs for Xemnas. I couldn't keep up with you. Following Xehanort's nobody was the only way to discover what happened to her. She was his lab rat. So, you found her? I helped you rise up the ranks, so I hope it paid off. I'm afraid not. Nary a trace. I started to wonder if we'd imagined her. Maybe she never existed. And then, in time, I awakened to a new purpose. I realized I could be stronger. <laughs> well then, you blew it. Wise up already and just quit. Face it, Roxas is just like our other friend. Gone forever. You need to accept that. You wish. I'm getting her back. All of them. Especially Roxas. I'm even dragging you home. The marks under your eyes. They're gone. <sighs> yeah. Don't need them. Always told you they'd stop you from crying. The upside down tears. Would you get lost? I'll clobber you tomorrow! <laughs> I expect no less. How long have you known that I was with you? You did save me. <laughs> I think you came along for a reason. I didn't make much of myself as a replica. I was a failure. And after you and Sora moved on, my body fell to ruin and the darkness took my broken mind. I was all ready to give up and let it happen. And then you showed up. <laughs> you took that as a sign? <laughs> Maybe. I'd rather face my end with you than in darkness. That's what you want? Yeah. <sighs> but I'm not done yet. Got one last thing to see through. Take the time you need. Hmm. Hey, why is Riku all alone? He said he needed time to himself. Let's let him be. Hmm. Here! What? Huh? <laughs> Oh. Tomorrow's fight will be our toughest yet. 
I want to be a part of your life no matter what. That's all. Oh. Mm. Kyrie, I'll keep you safe. Mm -mm. Let me keep you safe. It's time. The Keyblade Graveyard is up ahead. <laughs> Someone's coming. Legend has it that darkness once covered the world. We know so little about the Keyblade War, only that it was just the beginning. If ruin brings about creation, what then would another Keyblade War bring? When the darkness falls, will we be found worthy of the precious light the legend speaks of? Or will all of creation be instead returned to the shadows? Today we will recreate the legend and see. <sighs> but first, your light shines far too brightly. It must be extinguished in order for the truth to be seen. Only when your hopes have been broken by battle upon battle can the key be claimed to Kingdom Hearts. And break you is what we shall do. It has been etched. How many there are! Oh, oh! <laughs> okay, gang, get ready! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Tara! Ven! Tara! We found you! Tara, please say you're in there. Gives, Aqua. I know that you're not him. Huh? Now let our friend go. <sighs> he is their thirteenth. Today is the day you all lose. What? Before you even face the Thirteen, every last one of you will be torn heart from body. 
But fear not. The Keyblade will still be forged. We're not gonna lose to you. Can't be real. Huh? Oh. Huh. Oh. Pull it together, Sora. Huh. We haven't lost them. They still have their hearts. But we have to protect them. Right. <laughs> we stand together. Hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Mickey, Kyrie, Goofy, watch the others. No, we should all get to safety while we still can. It's too late for that. Ooh. Gone. Kyrie, Donald, Goofy, the King. Gone forever. 
What do we do? Without them, I... All my strength came from them. They gave me all of it. Alone? I'm worthless. We've lost. It's over. Sora, you don't believe that. I know you don't. Checkmate. And so darkness prevails, and light expires. You need a new strategy. My move, isn't it? Uh, huh? It's not over. Come on! That's not fair. I know I had you. Yes, you nearly did. But a game's no fun if you know where it's going. There's more to light than meets the eye. I told you. Uh. Hmm. Some light comes from the past. Where am I?
Hello? The name's Chirithi, and this is the final world. I'm Sora. What's the final world? There's nothing else beyond this. You've wandered here more than once before on your visits to the Station of Awakening, but I let that slide. The edges of sleep and death touch, and one can't help the occasional crossover. Wait, death? Yes, the natural end for those whose hearts and bodies perish together. But some persist and arrive here. My heart and body perished? Um, does that mean... Something is holding you here, refusing to let you go. You're hanging by a thread. What about my friends? I'm afraid that no one else arrived with you. And if they're not here, they're either <gasps> gone forever, or they're clinging to the world you came from. I'm going back! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> How exactly? You can't just wander out like your other visits. What? I told you. The other times you came here by your own choice. This time is very different. To become your old self again and return to the real world, you'll have to piece yourself back together in this world first. Ah, why am I in pieces? What? No, not literally, of course. Huh? You're conceptually in pieces. On the inside, who knows? But on the outside, you're just fine. Oh, okay. You kind of freaked me out there. Oh, boy. Usually, only a heart can reach the final world. But since you've clearly managed to retain some kind of form, that can only mean your body was cast into this world as well. Okay, so then if I can find my body, that means I'll be able to go back? Precisely. But there's a lot of you to find. You're going to be busy. I see that you found them all. Yup. Then isn't it time that you left? Oh, thanks. What? I'm doing you a big favor here, you know. Don't push it. Hey, Cheerthy, you still look like you, right? Would you like me to help you find your pieces? Oh, I don't work like that. So, like... You're waiting for someone to rescue you? Hmm... Sort of? Well, tell me who. I'll find him. <laughs> huh? Uh, hmm? no, 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 no. Uh, that's okay. He doesn't remember the past. Besides, I'm sure that he's much happier with his new friends. But I'll wait. He'll oh. arrive here one day. Okay. I'll be back to visit you. What? You and me are friends now. Really? I've missed having friends. <sighs> well, see you around. And thanks. Could I get a hint how to save the others? Seriously? 
Are you a Keyblade wielder, or aren't you? Haven't you already learned how to restore someone's heart after it's been mm. lost? Restore their hearts? Is that the same thing as the power of waking? I'm not sure, but give it a shot. No. This'll take all my heart. Okay. Look for the light in the darkness. May your heart be your guiding key. Sora, you don't believe that. I know you don't. This is Herc's world. Is Riku here? Hmm. There's nobody here. Gee, I'm here. <sighs> Jiminy, you're okay. Well, okay might be a stretch, but what are we waiting for? We need to find the others! <sighs> right!
There's no need to worry, Sora. He'll return to the place he fell, like you did. We gotta focus on rescuing the others. Okay. That scoundrel must have fled into one of those pools of shadow that are down below us. Where do they lead? Well, I think they might be portals to other worlds. Okay, maybe that's where we'll find the others. If we hurry. Well, Sora, I'd say we've been to every world that we can visit. But we're one short. Where's Kyrie's heart? Gee, I wish I knew. You! Hmm? All that gallivanting through the sleeping worlds and yet you learned nothing. What? Dream by dream, you nearly buried yourself in the dark of sleep, and now you're at it again. <gasps> the lich you've been fighting, it's not <laughs> like other heartless. <laughs> it exists to usher hearts down to the depths of darkness. If you chase it, you will condemn your heart to that same abyss. You're wrong. My heart is strong. What do you think the power of waking is? It's for traversing hearts to reach worlds. Not for traversing worlds to reach hearts. There's a high price to pay for wielding such power foolishly. So what? You're worried about me now? No. There's no saving you. Huh. You've paid the price, and it lies at the bottom of the abyss. Uh, wait! <sighs> oh! Sora! Oh! oh. <laughs> of course! That's the one place we haven't checked yet! Off we go! Sora. Kairi! Oh, I found you! <laughs> you see? I had no doubts that you'd pull through. The light in the darkness. It was you! You're the one who kept me from fading away! All I did was believe that you wouldn't. <laughs> I feel strong with you, Kairi. <laughs> the others are ahead. Come on. Told you, Sora. You're safe with me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Whoa. You okay? Oh. Yeah. Thanks, Kyrie. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> it did work. Now point us back at those guys. Right. in there. <clears throat> what gives, Aqua? I know that you're not him. Huh? Now let our friend go! Is their thirteenth. Today is the day you all lose. What? Before you even face the thirteen, every last one of you will be torn heart from body. But fear not. The Keyblade will still be forged. We're not gonna lose to you. This is impossible! How I've waited for this moment. Off the others. Okay, we've got this.
what now? Sure. I'll stop it. Sure. Some help? You okay? Yeah. What was that? Keyblade wielders. From long ago. It's the light of the past. Huh? huh? Look. Just send out the big bad. <laughs> you! The organization's been using hearts. One Xehanort got to in the past and has influence over. So, that must be you from when Ansem had control of your heart. Yeah. How could I forget? <laughs> I'd say that was our finest hour. Wrong. My hour of weakness. You sure? How about we find out? A real test for the mark of mastery. What did you say? We gotta make sure you're not blundering your way toward a second failure. <laughs> blundering? I'll have you know we failed with style, Chief. At least you admit it. Well, if you Guardians think you brought the goods, you'll have to prove it to the old guy one last time. Kid, take it away. Huh? 
This again? Try to use time magic against these numbers. You won't have enough strength for the final battle. and break through. Everyone, get ready! Alone? That's crazy! I'll help! <sighs> Two is no better. Yeah! Splitting up's a bad idea! <sighs> There's way too many! <laughs> Champions. I will hold them all here for as long as I can. We're not gonna leave you behind! You got to run! Me and Donna will stay here. The two of us will back up Master Yansid. Donald. Goofy. You are all bound by yourself, Sora. Don't worry, we'll catch up with you in just a bit. <sighs> okay, we'll regroup later. Make haste. <laughs> <laughs>
Today, we join these other wielders and leave our mark on fate. I have waited patiently, but together, we shall unlock the Keyblade War's secrets. Hmm? Now we forge it, the ultimate key, the Keyblade. Here we go. Exactly what I needed. One final game. The rules are simple. All you have to do to win is find me among these cards and strike me down. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get you out! You were born for these sorts of games. Hmm. 
What's this? A wild card. You've earned it. Hang on to it. Could turn the tables. Play again someday. When we're just guys. <laughs> I should like that very much, Sora. Are you kidding? <gasps> You're gonna be recompleted. Uh, I didn't ask you for your garbage opinion. Uh, I lost to a bunch of losers like you. But could be worse. Become that geezer's heart tank? No thanks. Then why help him? <laughs> I was really just along for the ride. With... <sighs> My secret. back to me. <laughs> hey, is that a real laugh? Yes. My heart is remembering how to feel. Really? That's good. And now I am on the cusp of reclaiming my identity, my purpose for being. Thanks to you, Sora. Sora, I'll go after Xemnas while you go find the others. Hey, let's speed it up. Keep the line moving. <laughs> oh, 
You're not real. Huh? I'm the real one. Aren't you my past self from when Ansem possessed me? Oh, oh. No, you beat Ansem and you're still here. This guy is me. I knew it. It's a replica. A soon-to-be empty vessel. I've been waiting for a chance like this. What are you doing? Take the vessel! No. The world already has you. There's someone else who needs the replica more. You know who I mean. Oh. Namine, you're saving her. Good luck. If I had a keyblade, it'd be different. Like you're actually worthy to use one? Oh. I am worthy. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> the old coot promised to bequeath me his. Why else do you think I would ever put up with all his nonsense? It'd be wasted on you. <laughs> As if. <clears throat> what? Is that a replica for Namine? Yeah. Wish we could help her now. But first... I know. I'm going after Ansem. Okay. I'll go help the others. Hmm. Hi, 
Hurry! Axel! Sora! <laughs> Nice to see ya! Stop it! Isa! Zemnus! There was a time when I trusted you to deal with traitors. And now, your betrayal outstrips them all. What final words do you have for your superior? Well, let me think about it. How about... you were never my superior? Ah, ever the rogue pawn. Knocked from the board early in the game. Utterly useless and forgotten. Are you kidding? Do you know how popular I am? I got loads of people rooting for me. Sorry, boss. No one axes Axel. Got it memorized? <laughs> is this supposed to be a Keyblade? Or is it some sort of joke? Plans have been dashed by you. Far more times than I care to count. Now it ends. I will purge that light in you. With darkness! Changing sides again? We need him alive. You know that. We only need his heart in order to forge the key. We do not need his soul. Oh, but that's right. You were friends. Then, you take his life. <sighs> Who are you? Don't do this. Wait! It's all right! You can stop now! It's all right! Shion! <laughs> Oh. 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 Useless puppet. Hands off, my friends. It cannot be. Roxas! My turn. Roxas! 
Princess. This is impossible. Where did you get a vessel? Same as you. Same how? Most of the organization's members, they traveled here from the past as hearts. And you had replicas ready and waiting. One for each of them. Who told you? I owe my return to many. Some of them people you knew. Ansem the Wise. Zexion. And others too. It seems you're not as good at winning over people's hearts as you think. Ah, oh, I see. There was one last thing I needed in order for me to be whole again. A connection. Sora helped me find my way back here. To my friends. Roxas! <laughs> I don't need hearts. I will scatter them all to the winds. <gasps> Kyrie! What difference does one little light make? You have others. Just as we have more darknesses to replenish our ranks. Rest, Axel. Roxas will fight in your place. And I'll fight for Kyrie. Yeah, when it comes to Keyblades, you're the old hands. Hmm. <sighs> Why so sad? You let them reduce you to this? I thought. You outgrew the marks under your eyes. So? You look... like you need them. Stop it! The whole act! I thought this was all for her. At first... I sacrificed everything to try and track her down. You're the one who went off and made other friends. Left her and me both in the dust. It infuriated me how you just exited our lives. I lost all sense of purpose. I didn't forget you. Yes, I know. You wouldn't do that. But... I was jealous. You admit it. Well, if I make it back... You won't get it out of me a second time. See you, Isa. See you, Lee. You go help Kyrie. Right. Gotta run. Good luck. Hmm. All right. What now? I guess I should have brought some ice cream.
acqua! Ven! Sora! Your face! I'm the piece of Ventus that was taken away. And you're the piece Ventus needed to be whole again. So, why shouldn't you and I look exactly the same? You define me, Sora, the same way that Ventus does. We are brothers who together make a greater whole. Then why won't you stand by our side? Instead of with darkness! Because I am darkness. And I do stand by your side. I am the shadow that you cast. How much closer could I be? <sighs> but I didn't... But I didn't ask for this. To be sifted apart, nice and neat. We should be free to choose. Not just light, not just darkness. We decide what we are. But... Ventus, I did decide who I am. You see? And what you are is darkness? What I am is darkness. Okay. How is that okay? Vanitas? be able to break these chains. They're our bonds. You have no power over me! <laughs> stop, Terra! Please, stop it! <laughs> Farewell. Oh! 
You fell to the dark! One day, I will set this right. One day, I will set this right. I will return to this land and protect my friends. Terra, now! Aqua! Ven! Tara? Is it you? Yeah. You never stop lighting my way back. You're here. I heard you too, Ven. You found me, just like you promised. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Aqua and Ventus need rest. Terra, look after them. No, Sora. I'm going to. <clears throat> That's what he wants. For us to make a mistake. Put ourselves in danger. <sighs> Sora, <sighs> go. We'll catch up with you. Right. I got this. Riku! Your Majesty! Uh huh? Sora! About time. Sorry. Xemnas! <laughs> Where's Kairi? Wait, huh? is she in trouble? Yeah, Xemnas took her. Yeah. <laughs> Settle down, boy. It's Sora! The thirteen darknesses and seven lights have clashed nine times, yielding these nine keys. Keys? We are four short, but those four keys will be produced here and now. Yeah, sure. And what makes you think there'd ever be any way we'd help you with that? Huh. You forget I plan for every eventuality. Kyrie. If you do summon Kingdom Hearts, we will defeat you. And we will close it again. Perhaps. That is... If you survive that long. <laughs> What's so funny? I told you. There's a high price to pay for all of this. And what price would that be? I'll go back to my time and live out my life. But Sora, you're done now. Your journey ends here. What? 
Goodbye, Sora. Your time in this world is... Go on. Bested yet again. I know that you have a heart. What do you feel? Was it worth it? I feel the emptiness where my companions once stood. I took them for granted. And now I have nothing. My first surge of emotion in years. For as long as I can remember, and it's loneliness. Do you see? A heart is just pain. Pain is being human, Xemnas. Really? It must take incredible strength. What a journey you and I have had. You know, it's strange. I think I'm gonna miss you. Your strength is vaster than darkness. I knew I never stood a chance. Part of me wanted to defy my fate. But when the others betrayed us, I found I did not care. And then, nothing else seemed to matter anymore. Ansem. What? It is time to move on, boy. There is more to seek. So go forth now and seek it. Twelve keys we have now. Leaving just one more. <sighs> now, Sora. Darkness and light's final clash. <gasps> Kyrie, you require motivation. Riku! 
Hmm. Now, the Keyblade War will finally reach its conclusion. Keyblade is complete. Kingdom oh. Hearts, I call upon your true form. Open now and show me the world to come. We thought you might be able to use a couple of more half points. Donald. What? Goofy. Capricorn, <laughs> you can't do anything without us, Shola. Now wipe those tears. And let's go stop Master Xehanort. Yeah. But he controls Kingdom Hearts now. And Kyrie. Uh, you worried? Huh? <gasps> Guys! Sorry we took so long. Had a couple of plot points that needed huh? ironing out. Hmm? Master Xehanort. He did it. He opened Kingdom Hearts. So what now? <sighs> We've still got one hope! Your Majesty, Riku, are you okay? <sighs> oh, we're fine! Yeah. What hope? It's Xehanort. During the Mark of Mastery exam, we learned that he can transcend space and time. He's a portal, and we can use that to trap him. Hmm, but it won't be easy. Aqua, Riku, I'll need both your help if we're gonna push Xehanort out of this world. Understood. Wait! I'll do it. <laughs> what? Kingdom Hearts is a much bigger threat. Let me handle Xehanort, while you guys keep it shut. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Okay, Sora. I got this. Huh? You can't forget about us. Without Keyblades, it's not like we'll be much help here. <laughs> <laughs> Three half pints together again. <laughs> Let's move. The darkness is spreading. <laughs> Sora. Huh? Oh. Hey. Kyrie will be all right. I can feel it. Thank you.
It's beautiful. Right. We need to find Master Xehanort. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> it sure is huh? awful quiet huh? here. Let's go run around. Hey! Oh. Huh? <laughs> what? Oh. Huh? 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 Oh. What's going on? Huh? Are you serious? I don't think they're the locals. Ready? the places to be sent. <sighs> Master Xehanort! <laughs> Behold, this town. Once a seat of power for all Keyblade wielders, it is the nexus from which all worlds spring. My other selves can be one. United in Scala et Kylum.
get him! Yeah! Xehanort! You thought you could contain me here? Knowing all that you do about connections? One sky, one destiny.
now you lost uh, uh, no look you are too late <gasps> are we really what's gonna happen a purge. The world will be returned once it started. The world began in darkness, and from that darkness came light. From the light came the people, and the people had hearts. Evil burgeoned in those hearts, begetting more darkness and the darkness spread across the world like a plague. The light, the symbol of the world's hope, was devoured by shadow, leaving nothing but ruin and utter failure. But the first light, the light of kingdom hearts, it can give us a new start. An empty world, pure and bright. It wasn't your decision to make. <clears throat> then whose was it? <sighs> the world needs someone to stand up and lead. Someone strong to stop the weak from polluting the world with their endless darkness. Someone to dictate their destiny. If so, you are not that person, Xehanort. Hmm. A real leader knows that destiny is beyond his control and accepts that. You make me think of an old friend. Look! Oh. Kingdom Hearts is closing on the other side, but we managed to follow our hearts to you. Hmm. Master Xehanort. There's more to light than meets the eye. As I told you. Hmm. You sly fox. Hand over the Keyblade 
Xehanort. It is too late. For us, perhaps. But not for them. No. I can do this. Enough. Checkmate. Mm. Hmm. I told you that you might be surprised. Yeah, you got me. Huh? Really? What? It's just, you never admit it when you lose. That's cause I never lose. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Good game today. <laughs> I try. Maybe I won't go as far as you. Huh? When the world needs a defender, they'll pick you, Ericus. Huh? Y you think? But that doesn't mean that I can't be there for you. Yeah, and I'll be there for you. Very well done. <sighs> Terra, Aqua, then. Forgive your foolish teacher. Master! Master! Master. Then, I put you through such a harrowing experience. And Aqua, I left you with such a heavy burden. Terra, look after them for me. Please. <laughs> Here. Ready, my friend? Yes. <laughs> Sora, let's close it. Everybody help me out.
It's finally over! Hmm. Oh, hey. No. We'll find Kairi. Let's head back to Master Yen Sid. We can figure it out. No. I know what to do. Sora! My whole journey began the day I lost her. And every time I find her, she slips away again. I thought we'd finally be together, but she's out there, alone. Not for one more second. Where'd you go? That's right. Thank you, Donald, Goofy. But this time, I have to go it alone. Sora, listen. The power of waking isn't to go chase hearts around. Even if you do locate Kairi, you might never come home to us again. I will. And we'll both be back before you know it. Please. Let him go, Mickey. Riku. His heart and his mind are made up. Now believe in him. Yeah. Safe journey, Sora. Thank you.
Thank you.
やっとこの手に戻ったか我らを呼び戻したのかああ姿が違うかルシュなのかその名で呼ばれるのは懐かしいな今はシグバールって名前でやってるがまあいいさ本当にルシュなのああいろいろあってルシュだった頃の体は捨てちまったけどなその後何度か姿は変えたが中身は変わってない何があったどうなっている説明しろ随分時間がかかったがこれで俺の使命は終了だ使命アバはやっぱりいないんだなやっぱりアバには俺の使命は伝えたんだけどな意図的にアバだけ呼び出さなかったってこといやアバはアバの使命を全うしたんだろう回りくどいルシュお前の使命とは何だ長い話になる新しいゲームらしいんだけどさ、うん、黒7つそっちはこっちは。